Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop, your one stop for co-op news, reviews, and playthroughs. I'm Peter and tonight we're playing through Marvel Champions. And I'm here with Nelson, all about cards. What's up, Nelson? Nothing much. How are you doing? I'm excited to play some Marvel Champions. Ah, uh -huh. so we met at Con of Heroes. So we did. For those of us at our channel, you've heard plenty about it. But if this is your first time here, first of all, welcome. But uh, Con of Heroes is a Marvel Champions specific convention. So uh, Nelson, how did you get involved with Con of Heroes? So I actually was able to go to Con of Heroes back in 2022. So I started doing Marvel Champions content at the end of 21. And I saw that they were having this thing, and I did not realize how far it was away from my house when I bought the ticket. And then <laughs> I went, <laughs> and I ended up there again this last year because it was just so much fun. Yeah, so I, I was actually there in 2022, although you may not have known it, because um, I didn't show up till the very last... Well, no, I showed up late Saturday night, like, as the thing was closing. Um, and then I basically left immediately to go game with a couple of the guys from the One Stop Co-op Shop channel. And then uh, nice. I was there all day Sunday, but I don't know how much Marvel Champions I played because I played <laughs> like Power Rangers game. Okay. Um, somebody had that going and like any, I don't know. I'm the kind of person that's like, do you want to play a game? I'm like, yes, I do. Like, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so right, yeah. like I just grabbed like anybody who was around that's like, oh, let's do this. I'm like, sure, I'm in. <laughs> um <laughs> So, and that one was interesting because we had played it in prototype form, but I had never played the physical copy of it, uh, or, or not the physical copy, the, the uh, released version of it. And so it was interesting to see some of the changes that had happened um, from prototype. Nice. Um, I've never played it, but I, I, uh, I apparently need to try it. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I, like, Terrence loves it, but I, you know, I wouldn't say you'd have to go way out of your way to, uh, to play it. It's fine. Okay. Um, they have a new G.I. Joe one, if you like the G.I. Joe theme better. Um, is this Renegade? Is that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I've seen it. I, I've not played it, but they had a Transformers one? But that was, that was a competitive. I don't know if these other ones are competitive or not. No, like, no, no. Th these two are cooperative. I mean. Okay, okay. Um, and I shouldn't just assume that because, uh, yes, we are the one-stop co-op shop, but I definitely right. play plenty <laughs> of competitive games. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I tried the Transformers one. It was it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it, but it was kind of one of those, like, I didn't, you don't need to go out of your way to play it if it's not an IP that you're interested in. Yeah. Um, so my buddy designed the G.I. Joe deck building game, um, but oh, cool. I hadn't played the Transformers one. Um, so, but I, I find that game just okay as well. So, <laughs> like, we haven't even reviewed it on our channel, which is funny because it's a cooperative game, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I I don't like to play games a million times that I don't love, so uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> we we're like, yep, I'm good with that one. I had heard enough about it and what I had played of it. I was like, yep, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, so we got some chat out there. We got uh, Mary, who's Wasteland Sniper. Now, did you get to meet Mary last year? She wasn't there this year. I don't believe so. All right, she's, she'll guest spot on our, our show. She <laughs> said, Marvel Wednesday, question mark. Um, Mary, it's Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> so let, let's start there. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes, Marvel Tuesday. Uh, so we will not have our normal stream this Friday uh, because I am out of town at a hockey tournament for my daughter. So I will not be around. Um, now, I think Steve is planning on doing something, maybe even Marvel Champions related. I don't know. So there should be some content on Friday. Uh, we got Victor Von Doom that says cro crossover episode. I always watch Nelson, but never manage to catch him live. Well, you're catching him live tonight, Victor. Uh, Mary awesome. also, Thanks for watching. Mary also says, I don't think I've watched Nelson. Well, you can now. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, go check out his channel. So tell us a little bit about your channel because it's all about cards. So Yeah, so... Yeah, I actually have two channels. So I have Nelson All Over, which is solely fo or mainly focused on board game content. And then I have Nelson All Over Cards, which is all about card games. And so Cards actually precedes Nelson All Over, which is why there's the differentiation there. Yep. But Nelson All Over Cards, I live stream mainly on Twitch. Um, Lord of the Rings, Arkham Horror, Marvel Champions are my main ones, but I'll also dive into other kind of cooperative or solo card games. So, like, I'm working on, I'm going to start world, a World Breakers campaign next week. And so I, I, I just love the card games. But I play 
Marvel Champions a lot, and I love this game, and it's great. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so that's kind of what it is. But it's Nelson all over Twitch. And then if you want to catch the vods on YouTube, there's Nelson all over cards. Have I said it wrong this whole time? Have I been saying I, the... it's fine? It, I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know either. Like I feel bad because I thought I was saying it right, and now I hear my like. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. You guys make fun of me all you want in the background. Uh, b- by the way, also make sure, let me know whether our audio is good, because I've had so many audio issues since I've gotten this new computer. So both myself and Nelson, let me know if you can hear us loud and clear. If I need to like edit the audio for either of us, like up or down volume-wise, let me know, because I have lots of buttons and stuff I can do stuff with with this new computer. <laughs> the problem is there's too many buttons, and I can't figure it all out. <laughs> like, uh, so... Uh, so uh, yeah, it's like starting all over again. I mean, we've been streaming since I th- since COVID basically is what got us starting to play Marvel Champions, and uh, nice. yeah, it's it's you know it's literally like starting from scratch again. Uh, I famously did a crossover play with um, Gaming Rules where we played. Okay. Oh, what is it? Uh, the cooperative Code Names. We played Code Names. Okay. Yeah. online and um i didn't start my stream so we were like 15 <laughs> minutes in and like i wasn't streaming at all i hit the go live button but i don't know if you've ever done this if you switch away from the screen to go to a different screen which i did because i was playing on a different tab within like my internet oh, explorer yeah. yeah and it never went live like i hit the go live <laughs> button but it never actually went live so uh oh no yeah, yeah. So we're 15 minutes in, and they're like, yeah, there's nothing on your channel. <laughs> like, thankfully, we're recording on his at the same time. Uh, so people could watch both, like, and kind of whoever wanted to help or whatever. Um, yeah, it nice. was it was fun. But uh, let's talk about a little bit about what we're doing. We're playing against Ultron today, and uh, we did a little bit of different stuff with his deck. We are doing Ultron Expert. We, we put in the new standard rivalry deck from um, Con of Heroes this year. Which takes out Shadows of the Past, so uh, that's yay. Uh, but it also brings in your, um, what are they called, Nemesis sets, like a card at a time. Like, they'll bring in, you know, your side scheme, they'll bring in your Nemesis. So it's kind of fun how they change it up a little bit. And so you're not blasted all at once with this giant Shadows of the Past. But it's also not like, you're not going to get any of it. You're definitely going to get some of your Nemesis set, which is kind of cool. Because those are cards you don't always get to play with. Uh, and then the module we, we put in was Mr. Hyde because we're crazy. Uh, it's yeah, really, really what that was about. Um, so you were doing Ant-Man Aggression. Sure am. Um, and anything, like, any focus for your deck or? Uh, you know, that's a great question. It's it's a lot of bring it. We're playing Ultron, right? So we're going to have a lot of minions. Yep. Bring it's hopefully going to be drawing me more cards. And then it's kind of focusing on just uh, minion slaying and overkilling. So that's that's kind of the the focus of the deck. We'll see how it works. I've never put it into action, so nice. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. This is awesome. <laughs> this is like, and you have forty one cards in your deck. Like Terrence would be crapping himself right now. <laughs> you haven't play tested your deck. Guess what? I haven't play tested my deck either. This is amazing. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, you have more than forty cards, which Terrence like has a cow about. <laughs> Like, this is so amazing. Oh, yeah. oh man. I'm going to have to get you on, on an episode with Terrence, and just both of us <laughs> will have to come totally, like, fresh decks, never been tested, never been tweaked. Like, amazing. So, yeah. This is... this. You all are in for a treat, especially because we're playing against <laughs> Ultron with Mr. Hyde, too. <laughs> this is... Why not? Why not? Uh, uh, all right. So, let's it. see if we have to do anything special in setup. Each player puts the top card of their deck face down in front of them as a drone. It used to be you do that at the beginning. Is that still the case? Yeah, so it's still the case. You do it before mulligans. Um, but now, like, obligations and everything are in here first is pretty much the... The only difference? Everything. But if we Honestly, have setup, if we have setup cards, those cannot be taken. So any, like, right. setup cards, like your claws or whatever for Wolverine, those get set aside. Yeah, the permanent ones. And uh, But honestly, I always put my obligations in there at the beginning. I've never yeah. not done that. I didn't even know that was a rule. So, isn't <laughs> nice, that funny yeah. how, like, everybody does things a little differently? I mean, 99% of the time it doesn't matter. Against Goblin, it certainly does, but... Right. 
Um, so this is the the part of Ultron when he attacks you. You got to put a drone in play first, and then for each drone in play, it's plus one attack. I forgot oh. how hard he swings coming out of the gate. That's a uh, nice, cool. Okay. I should have had more allies in this deck. <laughs> I'm starting to realize <laughs> now we don't have a protection player, and uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. By the way, I have a justice deck, which is pretty standard justice. So I'll just leave it at that. Nice. All right. Um, okay, so Peter, I have figured out why I have 41 cards. Now that I have a drone, my deck is down to 40. Nice. Is that is that does that logic work? Is that that, that, that totally works for me? <laughs> I mean, there's that one card. It was super important. We don't know what it was, <laughs> but it was. It was super important. Oh, look at me with my Gatling gun on turn one. Or a Gatling gun. Oh, this is the one that generates me a resource uh, and place an ammo counter, which makes me happy. So uh, I'm probably going to keep my repulsor beam then, because so, that works with Gatling gun. Oh, I do have Iron Man. After Iron Man enters a place, search your deck and discard pile for a tech upgrade. I'm not going to be able to pay for all of this. I do have a double resource. Oh, I have Sense of Justice. I got Vivian. Now, what can Vivian blank? She can't blank this drone card. Really. <laughs> Sorry, no more drones. Uh, <laughs> can she blank Ultron? Vivian Nurse play. I think it's, I think it's a minion or a non elite right? minion. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Vivian got to go. Iron Man. Well, I don't know. We just said how hard he hits. I, I, there's no way I could pay for. I can't pay for all this, even dropping Iron Man. Uh, and I can shuffle Iron Man back into my deck, though, with my action, which is... Oh, yeah, good. Oh, I got another double resource. Ooh, and a Sonic Rifle. Oh, man, this... All right, well, I can pay for everything now, um, which is good. And hold the, a Sonic yes. Rifle, too. All right, did you want to go first? Uh, sure, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to mulligan this Precision Strike. I need to mulligan either Thor or Tiger. I think I'm going to mulligan Thor because Tiger just sits out here and kills minions all day. I mean, against Ultron, she, she seems too good not to. Oh, and I got the helmet. We actually may just drop the helmet instead. Huh. Hmm, that's pretty good. Well, you got me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Yep. Uh, so we're going to go Genius Strength to play the Avengers Mansion. Nice. I'm going to drop that right there. And then we will use the mansion to go ahead and draw a card which is a one by one but i think it's i can't be pass high. the helmet yeah it's gotta be helmet. we'll drop our helmet which then states whenever we uh change into tiny form draw a card or giant form deal two damage and then we'll flip into tiny form and so we get to draw a card i guess hey there's the queen carrier that's good <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I mean, you got all look. If if you had a turn one that you could like dream about, this might yeah, be right. It. <laughs> this 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 could be it. We're definitely not tossing this Clint carrier. That's all I know. You even had um, two double resources for the mansion. I got two double resources on turn one too. This is crazy. This is yeah. This is a good start. We should we should play more often together. I'm gonna save um, it just in case we lose. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> good place to stop. <laughs> yeah. And it was um, nice seeing everybody this week. We'll see you next week great, with another. <laughs> I love it. We're just going to basic and kill the ready to rumble in front of me. Uh, we got Matthew Rose out there. Says Peter Nelson. Hello, everyone. Hello, Matthew. Uh, we got Victor Von Doom. Says, ooh, Mr. Hyde is mean. Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, Mary says she needs to use more of the modulars. Uh, and then Victor says, I got stuck on War Machine for a few months. Uh, in a good way. Really enjoyed him. Love building up the ammo counters and using them all with shoulder cannon. Yep. Uh, and then Mary said, wow, mansion helmet on turn one. That is amazing. That is pretty amazing. <laughs> By the way, I love playing with you because you explain what you're doing. I always have to explain what Terrence is doing. Like, so this is great. I think you're my new co-host. Um, so welcome to the one-stop co-op shop featuring, featuring Nelson. Uh, <laughs> this is our new, uh, our new setup. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed what you did at the end. You attacked? I, I, I attacked my drone in front of me. I took out the ready to rumble. That was my drone. With with your one attack? With my one attack. That's all you need. That's all you need. That is all you need for these uh, level one drones. All right, so I'm going to take my action to choose a War Machine card in your discard pile and shuffle it in your deck. I think that's got to be Iron Man. We'll do that. Uh, I will flip up. We'll put in Sense of Justice. We will put in my Gatling Gun. Or one of my Gatling guns. I think I actually have two of those bad boys. 
Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do it, or it doesn't shoot anything. It sounds cool, like it's a gun, but it's not really. <laughs> it's just exhaust <laughs> to give me a resource for a war machine event, and then I get to place an. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, I get ammo counters when I flip over. After you change nice. this form, place five ammo counters. Let me tell you how good ammo counters are with no guns. Not, <laughs> not, no bueno. Uh, so remove. Uh, well, I guess it's good for this. I get to remove an uh, ammo counter to deal four damage to an enemy. And I will pay for that using my uh, gauntlet gun over here. So it places nice. an ammo counter on. So I would just place one on and then remove it. So I'm not going to bother doing that. And it also pays for it. So just four damage. And that's going right to Ultron's face. Because I don't like Ultron. Or his there face. Uh, and then I'll punch my drone myself. Oh, no. Oh, no. The... <laughs> Oh, that that one's not bad. Scorch Earth. I, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was my shoulder cannon. I'm like, really? Oh yeah, no, that would be bad. That would have been worse. Way way worse. Um, okay, so that was turn one. Nice. Uh, so let's ready up and draw up. I'm gonna hold on to Sonic Rifle, I think, because I would like to flip down this game. Ooh, I got a second Sonic Rifle. I'm over here trying to remember all the the keys for TTS. Oh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. So over here, readies all the cards. It's like, oh, okay, nice. Very cool. And then if you hover over the deck, you just hit a number, and it draws that many cards. Uh, e and Q, like exhaust and unexhaust, depending on which way you want to turn it. Uh, space bar, or no, alt zooms in on your card. If you want to zoom in on anything, you hold the alt button. Great. So oh, and if sweet. you have any other questions, let me know. Will do. All right, so we're going to add two threats to the scheme, and then Ultron is going to attack you uh, for two plus and it interrupts, so a I drone. A drone in, so three. Yep. Bring it on. Bring it on. Taking it to deal. the face. Zero boost. Ah, perfect. And I assume you're just going to take the extra one, too? Yeah, I'll just take that. All right, same thing for me. I'm going to take it, but this is not going to go as well. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> Uh, so that's five damage. That's half my life. And then one more for this drone, because why not? Uh, move four well, counters from War Machine and choose the enemy. Deal eight damage to that enemy with overkill. Seems good. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do that and Sonic Rifle, but we'll see. All right, uh, so this button here draws you an encounter card. Oh, perfect. That's my least favorite button. Well, yes. <laughs> Each drone may engage with your attacks. If no attacks were made, oh, that is great. You take one da all of one damage, does and this then send that, it back? yep, sure does. Boom. Uh, uh, nice. Oh, look, I got a partner in time. One defeated. Search the okay. encounter deck and discard pile for set aside area for your nemesis minion and reveal it. Well, alrighty then. I do have full auto, so that's a thing. Who's my nemesis? What does he do? Oh, he quick strikes for two. Oh, Living Laser. Oh, I actually did a podcast about Living Laser on uh, Critical Encounters, I think they're called. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Living Laser gets piercing. That's yeah, wonderful. I'm, I'm at four health. I could deal with that. Um, and I am first. I don't like anything that just happened there. <laughs> um, do you have a plan for your turn? Uh, you yeah. A... Oh wait, and you need this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, there's a little button. This first button over here. Oh, perfect. Okay, it, okay. Yeah, one over there. Yeah, yours is easier to see. Mine is pretty. My board is pretty spectacular. Uh, yeah, unless you absolutely need it, I would like to take this mansion. No, no, you can take the mansion. That's not what I... Uh... I'm just going to do that first, then. Oh, no, the giant shrimp. That's fine. I'm thinking about Sonic Rifling and omitting my full auto this turn and just doing it next turn. And flipping down uh, after I confuse, just so we stop getting the drone bleed. And maybe healing myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, I'll probably kill the drone. Uh, actually, and no, I won't kill the drone. It makes more... Oh, no, I only four for one. Oh. So I, I have a I have a one by one, so I could take out two. 
Or I have a precision strike, so if I destroy something, I do get to heal. But I'm going to be flipping up, I get to heal regardless. I'm going to be at 9, so I could take out the two drones. I mean, you could take out this if I did two to it, right? Oh, yeah. So I you could take out the that. two drones and this? Although... I could, uh, yeah, I could, I could, because I have a base. With your one by one? Well, I'm just thinking, if I punch it in the face. Yeah, but I don't want my nemesis. I want, I want you to have to deal with your nemesis. Oh! Yeah, no, I'm, your I'm nemesis totally kidding. Out. Which is yellow jacket. Um, You're right. That's not, that's not too bad. I could handle a yellow jacket for a little Well, bit. I was just hoping to be down when my, when the nemesis came out, if that makes sense. So, so can you deal? Hold on. Uh, here's yeah. another option. Yours are both actions. You could do that now, and I could full auto yellow jacket. So the problem with me, can I do that? Okay, so by one by one. Or do you need your card draw or whatever? So yeah, no. So I'm gonna play the quin carry and use the quin carry to pay for it. Ah, so I'm losing never mind. out on. Never mind. On a card if I do it like. Uh, well, which, all right, just leave this guy here. Well, maybe I just no, don't you know flip I, down. I, I, I can do it. I can do it. Um, you can do it. I'm floating, a, I'm floating a card regardless, so. But should well, you do it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it, it is actually fine. <laughs> do you want me to punch him first? Well, so I'll punch him. So that's two. Okay. And then you only have to do one card. You don't have to do both right now. You just have to do the one that, heal, that kills him and heals you, right? No, I, I, I'm... That way you yeah, can use we'll Quinn Carrier that. to pay for the other oh. card. Yeah, so we'll Precision Strike to kill him, and then I get Yellow Jacket. Yep. Okay. I heal too. Alright, so I'm going to kill Yellow Jacket with full auto. So again, I use my Gauntlet gun to pay for that. Uh, so I gotta remove four counters, but I add one, so I'm down to two counters, basically. It doesn't matter, I'm about to flip down anyway. Um, well, I think I, well, maybe not, I don't know. Oh no, I can still flip, oh no, I gotta pay one more. Hmm. Pay one of my two Sonic Rifles. Alright, so that will do four here with four overkill. Nice. And I don't get to retaliate, or, well, you're tiny for him anyway. So, yeah. All right. I can't really flip down, actually. And I can't really pay for any of these cards either. So, I'm in a real bad spot. I mean, I could pay for Crisis Averted, but then I lose my Sonic Rifle just to remove two threat. Mm -hmm. hmm. <clears throat> um, um, I can probably thwart down the main. I mean, it's going to pop at some point at this in this game, right? Because we have... He's scheming for two, and our cap is six, so... I know. We're gonna lose I hate point. losing this first scheme, though. It's, like, the worst one to lose. <laughs> right. Like, after the first scheme, I'm fine. I've got cards to deal with this. I just... I don't get to draw any cards when I flip down. Hmm. Um... I guess I just stay here? Although, I have four life. That's a problem. So we yeah, in the industry like to call a problem. For four. Yeah. Well, plus I get... Well, yeah, I, I won't have that drone there. Um, I, I mean, I have to flip down. So you're going to yeah. take care of the thread, or do you want me to take care of it? Uh, I, I, I can take care of the thread. You don't have a resource for me. No. Okay. No. Uh, all right. So I'll just flip down, and that's that. All right. I feel useless. That was a terrible turn. After turn <laughs> one, it all went downhill. <laughs> Okay, so while we're down here, we are going to go ahead and thwart down this main down to zero. Nice. Then we are going to change into giant form and deal the damage here to bring it. Yeah. And we'll use these three to play a Quinn Carrier. Seems good. All the building blocks. Let's go. All right. Okay, so ready up drop. Ready and... Oh, oh, well, I'm down. Hold on. Let me shuffle a card back in. I'm going to shuffle full auto back in, because that seems good. <laughs> I mean, Scorched Earth is good, too, against Ultron, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Now, I am a little worried about this one drone here, doing an extra thwart. 
Um, but should I have taken him out instead? Eh, it's fine. I have my counterintelligence now, which would have been nice. I do have my shoulder cannon, <laughs> which is nice, and a oh. plasma pistol, which is always good against drones. Yeah, that shoulder cannon is going to be great. That shoulder cannon is so nice for yes. drones. All right, so we're going to add two threat, and then he's going to scheme against me, and we're praying real hard here. For a zero, which we got, uh, choose to either spend a lightning resource or put the top card of your deck. No, because that drone would pop it. Um, we'll do counterintelligence. It's fine. Actually, what's Agile Flight? We'll do counterintelligence. All right, so we just add two plus one for my drone and at least breathe easy for a half a second. <laughs> we'll see if that lasts. All right, go for it. So he's going to be attacking me. We'll throw that in. So he's swinging for three plus a boost. I'm at nine. We'll take it. Why not? Oh, ah. gosh. That's why not. So that's <laughs> six. So that's six, seven. Yeah. So you're going down oh. next turn. Uh, I guess Sonic Rifle is the play. Um, Although, man, I can't pay for Sonic Rifle and Shoulder Cannon, but it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything's so expensive in this deck. Why did I do that? <laughs> what was I thinking? See, this is why you play test. <laughs> uh, we, still, we still haven't done encounter cards, have we? No. No, we haven't. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, surge okay. and exhaust your identity card. Oh, you know what's really good? At least good? we lost. At least we got rid of under fire. Advanced drones. Oh, well, hold oh, on. I'm Let sorry. me put this out first. Yeah. Uh, so that's six. Uh, each player discards the top three cards of their deck. One reveal. No, oh, Hulk Heroes. Crew quarters. That's sad. <laughs> there's, I feel it. There's a lot of sad right now. <laughs> Go ahead. What's yours? Uh, mine's, uh, they, they get better. How do we get rid of that? Oh, one of every resource? One of each. Why am I not playing Spider right now? <laughs> ah, she's so much fun. Yes, Spider is definitely one of my favorite, if not my favorite, heroes. Nice. All right, it is to you, sir. Okay, so we are going to start us out by playing Resize. So I get to change my form Yep. Um, and draw one card. So we're going to change over here. We are going to draw one card, and then we're going to draw one card from the helmet. And now that does not take my normal turn, or my normal change. And so that's nice. Well, I got a Dust, which could be pretty nice. And just attacks a minion. She attacks each minion in play, plus one consequential damage. I mean, I do have my shoulder cannon, so I'm not worried about the drones That's right true. now. That's true. We will play Bring It for just one one fun card. Hey, a surprise attack. Okay. Um, I do want to get out. One of, so I want to play Army of Ants. I probably want to flip down. Sadly. I need to heal. I yeah. I need yeah, to you gotta go down. <laughs> I need to heal. Uh, so, I guess like this hive mind can remove three. Two for three is not great right now. So I think I want to probably get army of ants down. And I don't think I'm gonna need this mansion. So, let's let's do some. Let's figure this out. We're gonna drop one army of ants. We'll exhaust army of ants and deal one damage here. Oh, actually, hold up. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll deal the one damage there. Oh, are you and thinking about will, getting rid of the three? We, yeah, we'll go dust, hive mind, and brisk gauntlets um, to get rid of all upgraded drones. Oh, yeah. thank you. All right, so this guy's dead now. Yep. It's probably another good card that I needed. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we will. We're gonna flip down. I heal one when I flip down. And then we'll give you a mansion. Thank you. That actually may really help. Ooh, Dazzler. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, everything is too expensive. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, wait. I, I'm going to basic recover as well. Because that's the entire reason I came down here. <laughs> yeah. So... Do I just put Dazzler in and not my Shoulder Cannon this turn? Confuse Ultron. 
I could shuffle something in, so I could even shuffle, like, I could use Shoulder Cannon to pay for Dazzler and shuffle it into my deck so I can hold Sonic Rifle. I just, I need to deal with Threat, too. Yeah, I don't think I can afford Dazzler. Um, but I can Agile Flight now and, da and uh, for Justice, which seems, or, and uh, Shoulder Cannon. I think you need the upgraded chassis, right? Fragile flight. Oh, you're right. All right, never mind. So I can for justice still, and shoulder cannon, and that'll let me hold rifle for another turn. Yeah. All right. So that sounds like the move. I'm gonna go ahead and flip up, giving myself five counters. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this round. <laughs> oh. Maybe maybe the maybe the move is to drop Dazzler then so you have a you have a blocker. Yeah. And, and actually force. before I went down I should have put something back in the deck. I think repulsor beam. Nah. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We're gonna just <laughs> keep doing expensive stuff. More scorch scorched earth. <laughs> it's on brand at this point. Yes. Uh so yeah, I just do Dazzler and hold everything else. I mean, Dazzler confuses. Dazzler helps with threat. If we're if we're really trying not, and Dazzler is your block. Yeah. Which I, it's a. Yeah, one, two, three, four. To Dazzler, I mean we're gonna lose this scheme anyway at this point. There's not anything I can do about it unless I did shoulder cannon and for justice. But then how do I survive? becomes the question. I mean, we, we may not lose it with Dazzler, right? Because you're confusing Ultron. He's scheming. He won't scheme on me, and Dazzler can forward it down to yeah. uh, three. Yeah, all right, you're right, you're right. So I just hold shoulder cannon, do all that. We confuse the villain. He'll scheme for two. Oh, we get an extra card. Oh. Yeah. Bummer. All right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where we got to sit. I mean, Sense of Justice and Gauntlet Gun really aren't doing anything right now. Oh, to have a shoulder cannon. All right. <laughs> so, oh, that's one damage on Dazzler. All right. So, ready up and draw up. Oh, I do have my upgraded chassis. Although, how do I pay for it? No one knows. I don't, <laughs> is really the, the answer to all of these questions and more. Tune in next time. <laughs> um, all right, so paying two over here, or I mean, adding two threats to the main. Go ahead, he tries to scheme against you, but is confused. <clears throat> he successfully attacks me, which means I get another drone. Dazzler will block, oops, that's not Dazzler. That's a gauntlet gun. I'd like to use my gauntlet gun to block. Uh, this wonderful choose to either spend a fist resources or put the top card of your deck engaged with you. That's my full auto. I still think I got to so, do it. I forgot to heal off the helmet when I flipped up turn one. I was at nine life. So I should have one more life. Did you forget to? I thought you, oh, when you went to giant form. Yeah. So you should be two more? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sounds good. I Thank mean, you. Yeah. I, I like when they help us in that way. Usually when it's <laughs> Terrence and I, they're like, hey, you forgot to like take a second yep. encounter card, bozo. Like, <laughs> Aw. Um, I mean, I guess I'm doing it. This is not going... I mean, but if I do it, I literally have nothing to do on my turn. Again, except for putting in my shoulder cannon, which is not nothing. But it's the only fist I have. I guess I'm doing it. Because I don't need to take three damage and get down to one life. Alright. So that just happened. Um, so he kills Dazzler. With his four damage. And then I take two from these drones. You get two fun encounter cards, and I get one. Okay. 
Okay, first up, Tetra Ultron. After Ultron schemes, plays one threat on each side scheme. Exhaust your hero, spend two. Did I have to exhaust my hero last time to do to get rid of Android efficiency? I don't think so. Or not Android efficiency, upgraded drones. No, I didn't. Okay. Cool. Just panic there for a second. Alrighty, good. I can actually pay. Okay. I can actually get rid of that. Oh, good. Show him how it's done. Reveal your set aside Nemesis side scheme. The villain schemes. Oh, bummer. Your Nemesis side scheme is in play. Do not give the villain a boost card for this activation. It does not matter. It is in play, but yes. So, uh, treat yeah. the printed text box of each tech player card as if it were blank. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> that's your oh, Nemesis? Oh, that's so bad. That's your that's Nemesis? With. <laughs> and I have no thwarty um, stuff. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm the worst person. I can't do it on my turn. Or out of my turn. Yeah. And I'm going to have to go down. Because there's no way I can take another round like that. Uh, after placing threat uh, here during step one of activation phase, each player must... Wait, what? What did I just do? Oh, yeah. That's what's going on. Uh, yeah. Each player must choose to either place two threat here or put the top card of their deck in play as a drone. Which... Yeah. All this is wonderful. Like, things are going swimmingly. By the way, I have another encounter card here. Let's see. Okay. One revealed Ultron heals two damage for each drone minion engage with you. <laughs> That's six more. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, back up to 42. This is not... All right. Remember how I said turn one was great? Not great anymore. Ult Ultron took that personally. I guess so. Ah. <laughs> <Nice. sighs> Okay, well, that's fun. So, I can get rid of this. Oh, uh, we do have to put one thread on each side scheme also, by the way, because of this. Now, wait, did this side scheme come out after he schemed? I think so. Right? Uh, wait, what was the order here? It did, it did, yeah. So This came out first. Scheme. So... That came out first. That is correct. And so, then you did this. Ah, that makes that makes it harder. That makes it harder to deal with. That's fine. It'll all, it'll all be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> all right, I have fourteen cards left in my deck. Ah, oh. I mean, I'm sitting on two life. Here's the problem. I kind of need to put shoulder cannon out, but that means my chassis goes away. Oh, I can't even you use shoulder cannon. Oh God. <laughs> this is awful. Do I get rid of this garbage card? Like, but if I do that, then I can't put my chassis in play. I mean, I could still put my shoulder cannon in play to do nothing for right now. Yeah, I, I'll take care of that side scheme because that is absolutely brutal for both of us. And I, I think I have the, I think I'm a bit. I, I'm you think you got it? That. I think I got that. I also have a mansion if you need it. I think, I think you can have it. Yeah. I'll figure it out. All right. I think you need. I think you need it. So we'll give you. I appreciate that. that. Machine yeah. Man, attacks are thwart. Spend up to three resources of any type, plus one to thwart and attack, for each resource spent this way. Well, I could get rid of that scheme now. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I couldn't. I could get rid of four of it. Um. So, do we want me to get rid of this? We will only have this left. And no threat I think on the we have scheme. we have to get rid of the tech theft. I think no, no, the tech theft for sure. But the question is, do we oh, care yeah. about this for one turn? And I am flipping no. down, so to put one extra threat here and one extra threat on the main. I don't think so. I mean, we scheme out at twenty. I think we're going to be fine. All right. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to spend two on machine. Famous man. last words, right? Yeah, I'm going to spend two on machine man. <laughs> I'll use him to blast one of these. Drones, which is another gauntlet gun. Um, then I'm going to flip down. Heal three. I just can't die. I'm going to put in my gauntlet gun and then I'm going to put my upgraded chassis back in my deck. Cool. Or not my gauntlet gun, my uh, shoulder cannon. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> all right it's to you sir it is to me okay so that's fine 
Oh yeah, actually we're gonna flip to tiny. I don't know how I have highlighted this card. To unhighlight this card from my whatever. Okay, so we're gonna flip to tiny, which gets I get to remove a threat, so we're gonna take it off of tech theft. Yep. We will go pim particles. We will go Don't forget to heal two damage. Uh oh no no, draw a card. No, because this is tech. So it's blanked right now. No, no, but for this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Giant and... We'll go... Uh, no, we're going to use our Quinn Carrier. And then I do have to draw a card for... Oh, nice energy. To play Wasp. When Wasp comes out, we get to... We are in tiny form, so remove two threat from a scheme. So we're going to take that off of Tech Theft. Nice. And we will fort Tech Theft. Get that out of there. Yes. We need that no more. Okay, now... By the way, that feels like Shadows of the Past, so everybody drink for that. That was a terrible tech. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's a tough tech. And it did come out of the Shadows. It came out of the uh, Nemesis set, so it's kind of the Shadows. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mary's like, yeah, that's an awful side scheme for heroes like Iron Man, War Machine, Spider. Yeah. No, it was pretty terrible. Oh my uh, gosh, gonna... Spider with that card out. Holy yeah, moly. Can... <laughs> like, her whole setup would be blanked. Wow. Yeah, that's awful. Do I want to play... Do I care about... I do want Giant Strength. That's kind of the whole build. Yeah. Is giant Strength. So let's go ready to rumble to play a Giant Strength. And then we will resize. So we're going to hop up to Big Iron Man. I get to deal with damage. I'm going to kill this drum. The targeted strike for you. Nice. I get to heal two. I get plus one attack. So now I have all of the attack. Um, I guess I'm just sitting with an energy. What was I thinking? What? Oh, I get to draw a card with precise. That's what I was thinking. Oh, cool. It's a pen particle. So that's... <laughs> you got resources. <laughs> I got the resources. Um, let's go ahead and four swing for four. I think on Ultron. I think, yeah. I think we want to go with Ultron here. Um, at some point, I have hand cannons in here. Which I have not seen yet. So there, two of my hand cannons are in the last four cards of my deck. Oh no, I, I lost one to a drone. Never mind. So. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's hard to count on anything with drones. Yeah. So, all right. So we are done. Let's go ahead and ready up and draw up. And pray I actually do something useful this turn, because I've been not great this game. In all honesty, I, I'm fully willing to admit that I have been real terrible this game. I mean, that's what Ultron just does. I am really excited. So I, this is the first time I'm ever playing War Room. War Room is a, a newer card yep. um, that says, after an ally attacks and defeats a minion, remove exhaust War Room and remove a threat for a scheme, which usually I don't think pays off, especially in like a solo game. But well, in sure. a multiplayer game, when we have not, or we have like two, at least two drone minions each turn, I feel like this is going to pay for itself very, very quickly. And I feel like, I thought it's, you got Tiger out turn one. What happened? No, I dropped the helmet instead. I drew into Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. But this is any ally, so it does not have to be an ally I control. So if you use an ally, I can... Oh. I can. Wait, so, War Machine so that's killed also... a drone, so I did forget to. Or Machine Man, not War Machine. Machine yeah. Man killed a drone. All right. Um, so we added the two thread already. And now he is going to attack. So I, I have to choose. To oh, we both have two to threats. This. Why not play the soldier soldier cannon before flipping down so you can take out the other drones? Because there's it's a te it was a tech upgrade and so it didn't have a tech spot because I had to take care of the side scheme. What do you mean? Uh, sorry, Chad asked why not play the shoulder cannon before flipping down. I mean, it didn't matter. I, I yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah, yeah. use it. Oh, oh, that's yeah, what you were explaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna place the two threat. Sorry, to give you something to do. Yeah. So this terrible <laughs> side scheme was in. Treat each printed box of each tech, uh, player card as if it were blank. So that was the problem with the shoulder cannon. It is a tech weapon, so I couldn't have used it anyway. All right. So where are we at? I place two threat on this scheme. Yeah, uh, man, I'm going to do the same. No, I'm not. I'm going to put a drone in. Because it's only one threat for me. 
Uh, yeah. And I can we can easily kill the drones. I'm not worried about that. All right. It is to you, sir. Uh, he's going to attack. Uh, yes, he's going to attack you. Where? Well, how much is my base there activation worth at this point? If I'm going to, well, no, I'll, we'll take it. We'll take it to the face. All right, three plus two more is five. Wrong word. I'll take one from this drunk. Yep. And then he schemes against me. He's gonna add one to the side scheme because of this garbage. <laughs> Oh, and you brought it under surveillance. You brought the space van. Nice. Uh, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven threat on the main scheme. That went up quick. Yeah, I did bring under surveillance. I was hoping to keep yeah. scheme one. I only brought yeah. one of them, unfortunately. Like, that was really brought for, for scheme one, not really for right mm. now. But I realized they switched out some cards, so Sense of Justice isn't as good. Because I had more thwarting events before, um, but I realized they weren't as good as I thought they were, uh, so I removed them, and now I realize Sense of Justice is <laughs> not as good as what it originally was in this deck. But that's why you deck test, and that's what we're doing right here. We're literally <laughs> just de deck we're, testing We right are now. deck testing right now. Yep. All right, go ahead and get am, your one. Am I... Am I for... Did, did you resolve two encounter cards last phase? I did not. I were, wait. Okay. Did we back to back? Did we forget to. Did we, yeah. Did we forget to pass this? It's fine. Everything's fine. I don't think it matters, but. Uh. Well, actually, it would have mattered a lot. If you had gone first, these two dudes would have been dead. Or you did go. I went first. Yeah, you, you went first. We just never the switched the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, did yeah. go first. That's <laughs> right. I was like, yeah, because I couldn't kill these. Yep, <laughs> good call. When revealed, Ultron heals two damage for each drone. You know, Ultron. Stop that. <laughs> That, he Ultron. likes 42. That's his magic number. Yeah, that, that's his number. That's his magic number. He just keeps going to 42. Uh, when revealed, reveal your set-aside Nemesis minion. Each Nemesis minion attacks the player they're engaged with. No attacks were made this way. Oh, this is terrible. No. Uh, so he comes in. Ooh. He can't attack me because I'm alter ego. Right? Or will he attack me? No. Uh, Nemesis minion attacks the player they're engaged with. So he does attack me, right? He does. <clears throat> yeah. And he gets piercing... But whatever. Two life. Another one bites the dust. There you go. Targets for you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so the attack did happen. Thankfully, we don't have to surge it. That's the good news. All right. So your encounter card? Uh, and we've got Rage of Ultron. Ultron attacks you. Discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by this attack. That is not fun. We're going to block with this wasp. Uh, wait, player. let me do, uh, Machine Man. Okay. Wasp and Machine. I'm actually, so, we get this. I get, I get an encounter card, so I get another encounter card. Uh, choose to either spend a mental resource, or put the top card of your deck engaged with you as a drone. So, what do you want uh, to do? Oh, would that be I me? I think this is now you. This is now you, yeah. If you block with I mean, a mental or a drone? I'll take a drone. I think I'm going to Scorched Earth now. At this point, <laughs> I think Scorched Earth yeah. is uh, is what's about to happen. Now wait, why are you drawing another card? So I just decked out that that last... Uh, actually, hold on. This Ultron, attacks, Ultron you. attacks you. So he... Actually, I don't think I do deck out. I think you, deck, or you take another drone. I... Well, hold on. He attacks me for... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I discard seven, so I deck out. Right? Yeah, I'm just... So when Ultron has this uh, force interrupt, when Ultron attacks, you put the top card of your deck face down. Since you became the defender of the attack, do you put the top card of your deck face down? Or do I, and then it's after this force interrupt? That's a good question. When defenders. Ultron attacks you... That makes it sound like that's before Defenders, because it's... Right. I agree. And so, that ran me out of my deck, which deals me another card. So, do I also because take a card? Because now I just have to deal... To discard seven? Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> I mean, did that just happen? 
Are, are we yeah. like so? Am I because I'm first player? I think I resolve mine first. I think uh yeah. And then the damage is dealt after. Well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> do to do, do each player. It's a, turns it's a weird interaction. Oh no no! What's this? That's something else. Uh, Ultron attacks you. Discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt. He so he would have dealt the damage first. So actually, Machine Man should be shuffled in. I would assume, right? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Well, is damage dealt and then it's resolved later after? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, any. Oh. It's all four on each side scheme. Oh, gross. Yep. Okay. And then I've got Hide Formula. He if Calvin is in play, he schemes plus three, then he takes four damage. Mr. Hyde is in play. Neither of them are in play. This card gains surge. Well, that's okay. I can just... Surge is into grunt work. When revealed, reveal your set aside Nemesis minion. The villain attacks your hero. Nemesis minion is in play. Do not give it so he's attacking me. My Nemesis minion You don't is have not a set, set aside, aside one. So yeah, yeah. You, he just attacks you and gets boosted. Guess what? Okay, so Wasp it is. Wasp <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, the obligation's gone. Good news. That's good. I, I mean, That's is good, it? Guys. Is it really matter at this point? <laughs> I mean, this is. Oh my gosh. This is not great. It's fine. We're fine. So you can do. Oh, you don't need to do one damage. I have a shoulder cannon. I forgot. Um. So scorch earth is definitely the move here. Um. Whatever else happens, I'd like to get munitions bunker out too. Can I do that? I won't be able to forge justice or under surveillance then. I feel like I'm not being a very good <laughs> justice player here. Um, hmm. Let's see what I... I'm going to I take this first player, right? Yes, you're Start first. That's right. Turn. That's right. Yeah. Uh, let's do... Let's go Pym Particles for another copy of Army of Ants. That's going to heal me for two. Yep. I am trying to figure out if I can. If I go down, no, I can't go down. That that'd be. Ugh. Um. The problem is we have no allies out. to chump for us. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. Hey, I can heal too with a precision strike. Let's go. Um. You've got Ant Man's Quinn Carrier Mansion. Does I mean, I think you draw a card, yeah. Just okay. see if you can get Because you got that double resource. Oh, you, you got to be got kidding me. another double resource. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No. One of them mental? Can you get rid of this? I can. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get rid of the gene card. We'll get rid of that. I mean, um, I don't know. A Quinn Carrier for a War Room. And then I will Energy Strike for a Precision Strike to kill this guy and heal two. And are you staying? I know, up? I know you're doing the scorched earth, but I'm. No, no, gonna, I yeah, no, I you had to, to do that to heal. And then I'm gonna hit Ultron for two with the army advance. Yep. Um. So the only thing I can play while I'm down is surveillance under surveillance. So I'm gonna do that so I can put my munitions bunker back in. Okay. Um, because I need to do some kind of justicey things at some point. This <laughs> I do need to heal for three, though, sadly. Oh, and then I shuffle munitions bunker in with my action. Uh, action, choose a war machine card in your discard pile, shuffle it in your deck. So I'm going to flip up now. So I do have five counters. Nice. Uh, I'm going to use this to get a six counter. And Scorched Earth. So I used three of those six, so I'm down to three. Uh, to deal three damage to each enemy in play. So one, two, and my cannon's over there to do three oh, damage. My other, my other hand cannon. <laughs> Upgraded chassis, bye. Oh, and also when I flip down to small ant man, I was supposed to remove a threat. We'll go, we'll, we'll go over here to the side scheme. All right, so this one's got three on it, and then the way uh, shoulder cannon works, exhaust shoulder cannon, deal one damage to an enemy. You may remove an am, uh, ammo counter to ready the shoulder cannon. So I'll just do the one over here, kill it. Nice, nice. And there's no reason to use these other ammo counters right now. Um, 
Like, I could poke them for three, but, I mean, there'll be drones out in a second, so. Yeah. I don't know that that's the right move. You may draw into another squish, sure. All right, so I am good. So let's go ahead and ready up and draw up. Yeah, I'm very sad that I've put Sense of Justice out turn one, and I've literally not played a thwarting event this entire game, I don't feel like. I'm really happy with this hand, because now I drew Sunfire and all lightning resources, so I could have gotten... Or any attachment. Let's let's get an attachment. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's get a... Uh, let's get a, a villain, villain attachment? That would be good. Yeah. Just get rid of yeah, Ultron drones. We don't need that attachment. That's an attachment. I think so. Yeah, we can get right? <laughs> Sunfire. Sunfire can get rid of the Ultron drones. I'll be, yeah, down. Yeah. I'll be down. Yeah, no worries. All right, yeah, so yeah, two yeah. on main. Um... And then we have to we decide. Have so you Which are first player getting... now. I don't want to put a drone minion. I don't want so to put threat. threats. We got to do two threats. Have we... We... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do four to... threat. We have to. I do have crisis we avoided, haven't... so I can get rid of six of it. Okay. We haven't seen either of our advances. And I have repulsor. Oh, the advances aren't in there. Because we're not playing with the standard. Okay, never mind. Yes. We're good. We're good. We had that other card, though, that puts in your side scheme, and then he thwarts. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically an advance. <laughs> I do have Vivian. I don't know what she could do. It doesn't really help. Blink, blink the hazard for a turn. Does that do that? I think so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. All right. Um, Vivian. Oh, go ahead. That uh, that minion that came out from that standard rivalry encounter set that when defeated, get your get something bad. That would be an excellent target for Vivian if we ever see what another one goes. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Hopefully we do. Yes. Well, hopefully we do when I have her in my hand. I mean, let's be honest. Right. Yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. So you're getting attacked right now. Oh, good. So one card here. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect response. So you take He's swinging three for a lot. I think. How how your justicey things? How how are they feeling? Are, you, are they feeling pretty good? Are you flipping down? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm 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 thinking of defending. Yeah, go for it. I, I hate defending here. We're gonna defend here. I'm defending too. I only defend for two, and I'm still defending because I'm gonna die. Uh, all right. So you take one. And then one from I this. Because uh, he attacks for three. Plus one boost. You defend for three, right? Oh, you only two. defend for two. Oh, you're tiny. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, so you take three point. total. Two from the attack and one from the drone. And I'm going to defend. Same thing. Nice. Two from the attack, one from the drone. Is it nice? Is it really? Yeah, it's a... Tell, tell me how you really feel about it. <laughs> yeah. Is it really nice? It, it, it's better than a three boost icon. I mean, <laughs> touche. Touche. Yeah, right. Uh, by the way, my justice deck is not very justice I'm realizing. All my things are back. <laughs> I mean, War Machine is just like an attack monster, and I've like tried to right. make him into a justice hero, and it's not working. It's failing spectacularly, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> Anybody who's watching that's like, I wonder how well this is going. It's not. It's not going it's well not, at all. It's not, it's not going well. It's not going. It's not. Alrighty. Come on. Nothing bad. Okay, reveal your set-aside set nemesis side scheme, the villain schemes. Oh, your is... nemesis... Uh, the villain's going to just scheme with a boost. Yep. There's nothing we can really do about that. Two plus two is four. We still have Thank three you. left. Space fan. Oh, oh, hey, cool. Mr. Hyde's here. That's good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have two armies of the ants. I can do two damage to it. It's fine. Well, I do have full auto. To be fair, so that two damage that, will that seems pretty pretty nice. It's actually nice because and I need I all four ammo counters. I can't deal with the drones then. Um, but it's. I think that'll be fine. Oh look, it's a side scheme. I can deal with the drones. We're, 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 we we get drones. get to draw more cards. When revealed, the first player puts the top two cards of their deck into play. Engage with them as drones. Hey, good thing that's Honestly, not me. Honestly, I am, I am okay with that because I have a bring it. So now I'm drawing four cards off the bring it. Yes. So that opens up a lot of options for me. And and let's be honest, you have two army of ants. 
So yeah, things are going well. Go. <laughs> what we're saying is things are going well. Yeah, I honestly don't know how they could be going better. It's, I mean, it's this is <laughs> they 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 could not. the The answer is they could not. <laughs> could not be going any better than right now. Uh, so I guess it is going to be Vivian. Uh, it could be. Could it be Crisis averted? Yes. So it's okay. it's going to be. So crisis if we lose averted. this game, we lose the game. Yeah. Right, because we can't take. We yeah, because it's going to be because the then you can't slow it down. Yeah, we don't we don't lose immediately. We we lose just in a couple turns. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So I am going to. Uh, sorry, Vivian. As much as we need chumpers right now, crisis averted seems like the right call. Uh, so that's six off main. And then we're going full auto on him. So that's those three, plus the one I generate from Gatling Gun to full auto. And then I got to pay this beam also because it costs two. So that's one, two. Let me play. I'm playing. Uh, you're not killing it. But let me play bring it at this point instead. It doesn't matter. But Yes. Uh, so full auto puts eight on him. Cool. Unless you wanted me to hold full auto, is there a way you can, like, or, or, or were you planning on doing, like, three or four damage or something? Actually, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I will hold it. We'll just say I held it. And if we do, if you get them higher, then it'll all just be overkill, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll just say I held it. I'm not going to undo everything. Okay. Oh, for Crisis Averted, I didn't need to use my sense of justice for the first time all game. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Um, okay, and then shoulder cannon. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, that's one damage. Uh, you want me to pop a drone? Yeah. Okay. Cool. You got another army ants. You could be doing three damage every turn. I know, right? I Can do I like stopped? army ants. I, I love playing I do, damage. too. I do, too. It's, yes, it's great. Um, let's go, we'll, uh, we'll hang on to the bring it. We don't spin it, we don't spin it, that's fine, we can hang it for the next turn. We'll go army of ants right there. Wait, I thought you used it already. I, I had two in my hand. Oh, nice. Yeah, but it's max one per phase, so yep. you can't use... I mean, as phase. it should be, because let's be honest, it would right, be yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> it, it, would be, it would be slightly dumb. Um... So wait, Mary says it bothers me that the art for full auto and scorched earth should have been reversed. Full auto. I'm just taking cards in my hand now. <laughs> I, got a, I got a hand for next turn. <laughs> yeah, I see that. All right, Mary, you have a point. <laughs> huh. All right. Sorry, back to you. Okay. Trying to. I, I'm I'm thinking hard, which is which is the church my brain sometimes. So Mary also but... said a Peter justice deck that doesn't do justice. Typical Peter. The funny part is, <laughs> I actually thought I was making a justice deck, and then I started changing cards around, and I've now realized. I didn't make a justice deck. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay, so I think I think the play here is is I don't roll down, but I get Sunfire out there as a blocker. If I do that, I think I may be able to play a Giant Stomp, which is pretty cool. Because I will flip to big form. Well, and we can say, again, you do that before... I do my uh, overkill attack. So you can true, put the 8 true, on true, him, true. and then I can... Oh, well, I... Yeah. Well, actually, no, 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 I don't want to, because I have this 1x1. One one. I, I think I'm going to target the 1x1 one one on Mr. Hyde. Okay. All right. Hit Ultron. Um, let me see if I can pay for all of this. That's that's the hard part, right? We've got 3 for Giant Stomp. we got 2. I can't pay for all of it, so never mind. Um... can't pay for the one by one i do want to pay for the giant stop does it make sense for us to do the overkill 
Risk Gauntlet, you could stun also. Do you have the... No, you don't have the fists. Wouldn't, well, hold wouldn't on. You could confuse. If, confuse. if you're yeah, going to confuse, I wouldn't mind flipping down. Let's do that. Do it. Yeah, flip down. Okay, because I'm at three okay. life. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I had zero yeah, ammo yeah, counters yeah, yeah. at this point. So, uh, all right. And I'll put full auto back in. Or Seems to be doing good stuff for us. Oh no, updated, upgraded chassis. And pray yeah, I get okay. it next turn so I can be tough when I get up. I mean, I'll put the other one in next turn. By the way, I guaranteed I'd get it because I didn't shuffle my deck. That's, <laughs> that's how we cheat here on the one-stop co-op shop. I like it. It's nice. Okay, well, risk outlets to go one by one and dust to confuse. Yep. Ultron. That leaves me with a Sunfire. Yeah, okay. So we will drop a Ready to Rumble and a Giant Stomp to play Sunfire. We don't get to activate Sunfire because there's not anything that we can do. But we can use Sunfire to attack and kill Mr. Hyde. Nice. Is there, is there a special button that can just throw nope. Mr. Hyde into the trash? Okay. He doesn't go away forever. Um, I see a... Uh... I, I mean, it was, it was worth a shot. I don't Here, know how TTS we can do this. There you go. Um, There's a button. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, since we did that, we get to exhaust War Room and remove a threat from a scheme. Oh, oh, this is bad. We're, we're not in a good situation. <laughs> I mean, War if I get a Four Justice, that's, that can be gone with one. So I don't know that's that true. I'd remove it from something with four. I'm going to... Yeah, main for now. If we just leave these out, it's like we're playing Heroic One. I mean, that's isn't easy. that what we wanted? Like, yeah, right. Is, we're here for the challenge. <laughs> we're here for the applause, applause, applause. Okay, we'll use Army of Ants to tank everything that I got. Nice. And that's me. All right. So, ready up, draw up. I'm going to keep my bring it. Cool, I drew into another bring it. That's exactly what I want. Oh, I have a targeted <laughs> strike, which will remove three. Which seems good. Okay, nice. Hey, remember how I said, don't worry about the four? <laughs> remember how I said, I, I don't do worry about that. removing I, one I, threat? I remember that. I do remember that. That's crazy. I do have a machine man also. And a munitions bunker. Oh, okay. And a helicarrier. Which means I have way too much to pay for, is really what I'm saying here. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. So first things first, uh, we're going to add two threat. And then I'm going to add a drone. I'm also going to add a drone. How are you? You know yeah, I got a blocker with Sunfire. Oh, okay. And, I mean, it's still two then, damage. It, it is, but it feels my bring it. All right. Good call. All right. Um, so then he schemes against me, but he is confused. Yay. He attacks me. I will defend with Sunfire. And two boost, which doesn't matter at all, but you do take two damage from your two drones. All right, then we get two encounter cards each because that's how we that's how we do things here on the one stop call up shop. Uh, <laughs> when revealed, reveal your set aside nemesis minion. Well, that can't do that. Uh, if you don't, the villain attacks your Huge. hero, which I don't have. Huge. Yes, nice. So it's a zero. It is literally. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We do shuffle this. I mean, that is literally a zero card, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it says it attacks your hero, but it can't. And it doesn't say surge if it doesn't do an attack or whatever. All right, each drone minion engaged with your hero attacks. If no attacks were made, put the top card of your deck. Fine, whatever. One drone. You got off pretty well. That, I that mean, was that, a, that was that, a nice... I literally, for two cards, drew one drone. <laughs> I mean, that, that, like, that, I don't think... that gets close to killing me, so. Self-experimentation. Search the encounter deck and discard power from Mr. Hyde and reveal. Nice. So wait, <laughs> Good. that dude's back? Yeah, and then when any brute enemy oh, would sorry. take any amount of damage, we have to remove that amount of threat from the scheme instead. So we can't even kill him? Huh. No, but do we really need to? Hey, good news. It fuels your... Um, what <laughs> bring it, yeah. It, it, Let's it go. It fuels bring it. <laughs> well, honestly, that's, that's so good, though, because so you can do damage here, because like, you're a damagey person, which will help us get rid of that 
side scheme, and then you can flip down because he's only one scheme. Yeah. So it's not the, uh, although. Ultron attacks you. Discard. I. This is death for me. This is this is GG's. I will defend. He's attacking me for five plus a boost. Yeah, and I don't have a ally. Yep, that's game. Well, that that that's at least me. Oh, <laughs> that's just, that's uh, Uber game. That's yeah. Uber game. <laughs> uh, all right. Do we want to go with these same decks again, or do we want to play a second one? Do we want to call it? I I would love to play a second one. Um, I think your deck would love a meditation. You know, Terrence told me to or put meditation some, in. Some medi- meditation. No, I, I'm not doing that to you. Here's what we're doing. I'm pulling okay. out a better deck. That's <laughs> oh, what we're nice. doing. Cool. <laughs> like, cool. Hold on. I don't even know what I'm pulling in, but it's not going to be... I have a Phoenix Justice. That actually justices. And uh, and we get to deal uh, with uh, Dark Phoenix. Although I just played that last yeah, week. Yeah, awesome. Oh, okay. Dark Phoenix. Well, I, we, we did exactly that last week. So actually, I'm not going to do that again. I got an Iron Man Justice. I got a Cyclops Justice. Which is it? What's this one? Is it actually Justice? Yeah. Uh, it's a Sense of Justice, which clear the area, crisis. Oh, yeah. It's got the... Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. I'm going to bring my Cyclops Justice in. Okay. I haven't played Cyclops in a while. All right. I do too. Yeah. I, Guess who I don't love? So much fun. Losing. Uh, <laughs> I actually don't mind yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I literally did zero justice things that entire game. That is like literally zero of the justice things. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, so my, my favorite Cyclops. I mean, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> By the way, my new machine, while faster than my old machine, for some reason, Tabletop Simulator is, like, really slow. Wow, it's funny that you mentioned TikTok, because somebody just started following me on TikTok, and I haven't used our... Oh, no, you talked about Twitch. Never mind. Um, Twitch is another <laughs> thing I haven't used for a while. So, we could talk about that while I'm waiting for my deck to load. Um, what made you go Twitch instead of, uh, uh, T- or, uh, YouTube? I honestly do not have a good answer <laughs> Okay. I, I, like, I, at the time when I started, my okay. understanding of Twitch is We started there, too, life. honestly, but we switched. I, um, I, why, why, why is this? With a good friend with D20, what we're going to do, I think, is doing mostly YouTube streams now as well. A couple of my other friends have. Um, we switched pretty early. Um, wait, why do I have 41 cards? Do do I I have a start and play card, right? So I went 41 cards too? We just did that? We just. And it, we're both 41 cards, so we'll really cards. know if 41 cards is the way to go or not. I'm I'm now curious. Like, <laughs> I want to go look at my deck. It says 40 <laughs> cards. So, so <laughs> they just added a random card to my deck. What is going on here? I mean, I don't even know what it is. Like, it could be something super useful, or it could be... Wait, am I supposed to have three tactical brilliances? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's not one of those. Do I really have two team building exercises in this deck? I might. I mean, it's me. You know what? I don't have any double resources in this deck, which I just realized. It's nice. fine. Everything's fine. Who needs double resources? Or you want to go for I do have two team buildings. Yeah. I don't know. That's fine. We'll just go with what's here. Alright. Alright, there's an extra card. We'll see what it is. Maybe. Maybe we won't. I don't know. 
Who knows? No, who could say? <laughs> uh, I should probably pull out my obligation for my other character. <laughs> Wait, that looks like a gun. Equipment malfunction. Sounds about right. It sounds like the whole game last game. <laughs> yeah. Been there. Done that. Did we... Oh, yeah. Yep, you yep, yep. All right, so hold on. Let me do this. Nice. Let me save this. <laughs> I don't know that we'll play a third game tonight, but... Uh, yeah, so the reason <laughs> we came here was a couple fold. So number one, the biggest thing was probably... I guess I'll go first because I got my stuff I could throw up on it. Um... The biggest thing is we already have a YouTube channel. So this is our second YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, and so we had the main channel, which was focused on like recorded plays, but we had literally a play going up every day. So Mike's like, I don't yeah. want more plays on the main channel. So we came up with the streaming channel just to do live plays. And because I'm me, my schedule is like crazy all over the place. I, I never know exactly when I'm going to be streaming. So... We didn't want to just throw random videos up on the main channel. So this was kind of our hideaway. And doing it on Twitch isn't an issue either. But um, but because we already had a YouTube audience, we wanted you know to keep everybody on YouTube. So they didn't have to sign up for something different. I have to this so, Sorry, I, I just thought... Oh, chat here we saying. go. Hold on. Here, here we, we go. go. It's happening. <laughs> no, that didn't. Huh. All right, how about now? Can you say something? <laughs> All right, so Mary, let us know if it's still weird, uh, and we'll go from there. So the, the other benefit was that we do videos for publishers and having one home for that rather yeah. than having to put it on Twitch and then saying, you know, this is the home for it. It's worse, Mary said. I made it worse somehow. All right. Uh, oh, no. So if you don't <laughs> mind dropping out um, yeah. and then coming back in, so just join the OBS Ninja again maybe that'll help all right so we got rid of him uh I'm, I'm gonna block the room so he can't come back in maybe we'll no i'm just totally kidding <laughs> um so I, I assume his audio just got bad because somebody probably would have said something earlier if his audio has been bad this whole time uh let's look at my so i have two team building exercises which seems like a bad idea to start uh, oh, your audio is very crystal clear now. Let me see if you are. Well, hold on, hold on. Nobody else can hear you. So give me a second. Uh, let's do, cause you're telling great stories here. They don't want anybody to miss it. Uh, all right. Let me. Double check. Yeah, all this bull crap is on. Let's turn it off. Copy that. See, this is how, this is how the uh, whatever is made. The milk is made. The no milk made is something different. What do you make? <laughs> what do you make? I don't know. This is how. All right. So let us meat? know if that's better. Yeah. Is that better? I mean, yeah, you so sound I, better to me. Yeah, so what I think was happening, I think the audio was going through my webcam, and I was messing with this mic, getting it in the right spot, and it wasn't even using the mic, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice, because, yeah, when I logged back in, it was, like, audio source, like, the logic, or the, the webcam or whatever. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> so you did say that people said that, like, the odds of you having an audio issue were, like, very Oh, yeah. High. By yeah, the way. Yeah, it, it's, it's on the streaming bingo card. It's bad. By the way, sense of justice in my opening hand. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good. <laughs> Remember how, how well that came in. I also have team building exercise in Pixie. How do you play Pixie from your hand and an X-Men ally from your discard pile to your hand? Well, by Professor X. I will happily grab you in a second. 
Clear the area. Well, there's no threat on turn one, so I don't really need that. So let's get rid of that as well. So Pixie, Team Building, and Sense of Justice. That sounds good. Hold on to those. Draw three. Also, we were supposed to put... Do we care? We were supposed to put a card into play as a drone to start out. Do we care? We did. Oh, oh, yeah. Before sorry. the mulligan? No, that's fine. I do not care. Oh, I have Field Commander, which I never really play unless I got nothing better going on, honestly. Do you play Field Commander a lot? Uh, In the Maria Hill deck, I do, because you get to take the first Well, turn yeah, being Hill. first. Yeah, but... It, it's honestly like i am not like it no i don't play it i don't play okay. it a lot because <laughs> yeah i i find that it's almost a hindrance sometimes always taking that first turn i wish it was optional i wish i wish you know taking the first turn was optional um well i like not, it because it keeps this the uh pace good yeah um because that way the same person's always going first so you don't have to think about it like you can just move yeah. quicker Priority target, by the way, is what I'm pulling out. I know you're shocked by that. Getting nice. two extra resources on turn one is real good. So for those who don't know, attach to an enemy. When attached enemy is defeated, the player defeated draws two cards. Uh, so Mary, I assume his video is good or audio is good now. Oh, so you were telling a story uh, before about you were going through your computer audio, not your... Oh, yeah, no, I was going through my webcam audio, and so... It never seems good. No, nah, it's, yeah, it's probably not as good. It's probably not as good. Um, all right, so I'm just going to punch him in the face for one. Much better. Awesome. Cool. Oh, look, it's my visor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Remember how I said we didn't want to shuffle up and uh, do it before? Uh, yeah. Change my mind. Yeah, you saved it. Like, you can just reset the game, right? Yes, I did. Oh, good, we're both running Psylocke. That's good. Uh, what's Psylocke again? Uh, when Confused. Psylocke attacks an enemy, remove a Psylocke counter from her. Confuse an enemy, yeah. No, that's... And that's honestly... So you don't have Psylocke in your opening hand, I assume. I do, but I'm not playing her. I don't... I mean, I do have a lot of stuff. So we'll see. I may put practice defense on him, but we'll see. I got a lot of other stuff I can do after four generous play. For support. That seems pretty good. What's up? I have so much stuff I want to play right now. <laughs> All right. So right. Psylocke's not getting play. I'm going to pay okay. two for team building. Pay team building and Sunfire to play Forge. I'm going to search for... Huge first turn. X-Jet, I think. Yeah beautiful i mean utopia is nice too but and then just pay the three so so nice jet. so nice yeah that seems good you know what i should have thrown in my deck is uh honorary x-men oh to, yeah <laughs> to throw on you so you could use the x-jet too oh yeah uh all right so i do a forge here that can attack um or thwart so he'll attack for one and he'll attack yeah, just hit. yeah. but i lose no my army of ants sad i mean hey, we you had know the whole army said... last game yeah you know how we said that we didn't want to reshuffle and... i know <laughs> well i mean to that, be that, honest you got a quinn carry in your fair. opening hand so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not good. terrible and, and that hand cannon so... we were looking for yeah, we're gonna we're that is definitely getting some play. So, is it me? Yep, you good. So yep. I'm gonna flip over to Tiny Ant Man. Remove one threat from his scheme. We're not doing that. We're gonna go strength, and a ready to rumble to play Quinn Carrier. We're gonna use Quinn Carrier and a one by one to play a hand cannon. Hey, oh. Wait, you can just hit the four over the counter? Wait, not four. How many is this? Three. Three? Oh, yeah. that's really cool. Okay, yep. cool. Yep, yep. Nice. And then now you just have, have to hit a two to change it to two and okay. so on. Nice. That's that's really nice. 
I, I'm telling um, you, TTS is nice. People like down dog it or whatever. It's yeah. super easy once you get to know it. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. We'll 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 punch Ultron for one. Punch him in the face. Did you already take that down? Why is it forty three? You must have taken. Oh uh, yeah, I, I just took it down. Oh okay. Or, oh no, Ford shit your guy. That's right. Nice. All right, so we're good. Yep. All right, so ready up and draw up. We keep Psylocke. Yeah, we're gonna keep Psylocke. And I got the energy, and I got Hall of Heroes. So Hall of Heroes is definitely happening. Yeah, we're gonna try not to lose the first game this time. So let's. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna focus on that. All I, right. I am. I am a okay with that. I mean, I have Crisis Averted, which is a lot of threat removal for something that's not a lot of threat, but it's fine. Um. Yes. All right. So we had two. Then Ultron pulls out a drone and punches me in the face. That's fine. Hey, there's my lost visor. Son of a gun. I actually wanted it to pull my <laughs> right. visor out of my deck and get rid of it forever. Oh, come on. All right, everybody drink for that. I'm sorry. That is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to put a damage on Forge. I meant to block with him too, but that's fine. Um, all right, so it's two... Three, four, five. Who cares about half your health? It's all good. Everything's awesome. <laughs> all right. So attack against you. So I get the drone. We'll take it right to the face. You want me to block for you? I guess you have more life than me. Yeah. I can still block for you be. if you want. I have forge. Well, if I get let's... a second attack against me, that would be bad, though. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not because I have a lot of healing in the deck. Yeah. That and makes so... sense. Yeah. Hey, and nothing. Okay, so, so that was three? Four yep. total? Oh, wait a Good. minute, wait a minute. I should have taken an extra one from this dude. Mm. So you had three. Yeah, I did five was just for Moltron because he had a two boost plus his three attack. It was five, and then I take an extra one. Okay, sure. Um. so encounter cards. Just one each at this point. Oh, yay. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I do not have one of each. I do. That's fine. I got it. I got it. Well, we'll see if we need it. Oh, I have a priority target. Hey, I can flip to Scott. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. I'll exhaust and remove this, and then I get to heal a damage. Yeah. Big fan. Big fan of that obligation pull. Turn one. <laughs> uh, you know what I would have been a fan of? Getting my visor out of my discard pile with my obligation. <laughs> Yep. All right. Uh, wait, what card did I draw? Oh, these stupid upgraded drones. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, ready up draw up. And you are first player. Or not I'm ready up draw up. What the heck am I talking about? Just move first player. Okay, we will spend two to play Hall of Heroes. By the way, Rollin, I haven't given you a shout out today. Rollin, thanks for joining. Rollin says the uh, audio is much better, so does Mary. So... Yeah. Rollin, thanks for joining us. Yep, Hall of Heroes seems good. When you're fighting against drones. We will we'll flip to Giant Man. Nice. Deal a damage here. One oh, or my two. Thor. It's just one. Just uh, one I they're upgraded. Oh, you're right. But I'm gonna toss my hand. Do I Actually, hold on. Let me... Am I just hanging on to Psylocke for forever? I'm going to keep Giant Strength. I'm going to toss this and Quinn Carrier, and then toss this, and then get rid of the upgraded drones. Thank you, sir. No, you are a gentleman and a scholar. I appreciate <laughs> that. I don't know that I would have been that nice. <laughs> uh, guess what? I got another priority target, so that's nice. going on the drone. Uh, and I'll punch the drone in the face with my one attack. Nice. Uh, so that lets me draw two cards. After you defeat Ooh, Utopia a seems real good. Uh, what's the main scheme look like? Just the two? That's fine. Oh, mission training. Oh, mission training. Um, Ooh. yeah, that's good. Can I afford Utopia, mission training, and Angel? Utopia is an X-Men location. I'm an X-Men, so let's just use these two to put Utopia in. 
Nice. Angel cost three, and I'm one short. Angel cost oh, two. Oh, no, two. Two. Yes. Good call. Good catch. Because I am an X-Men character. Uh, so that lets me ready nice. myself also. Because nice. I have Utopia, which seems useful. Uh, that does seem useful. And then mission training on Angel. So she thwarts, or he thwarts for three now uh, and has five life. He Would, thwarts for two, I think, right? I'm lying. He thwarts for two and has five life. Um, He still attacks better than me, though, so I am going to thwart myself for the two. Nice. And we will have him attack for his two. And Forge is just going to sit there and actually block for me this turn. Last time <laughs> he was sleeping. Forgot yeah. to wake him up. All right, so this deck is already working better than my last one. Nice. Just, just saying. You know what would be giant really nice? A visor. Hey, I got the helmet. Oh. Although you have a lot of stuff that's good in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. No. The helmet's gonna keep me alive, though. <laughs> yes. For sure. <laughs> All right, so that's two on the main, and then you are getting attacked, sir. Bring it on. Uh, yeah, I can't block for you. Uh, Ultron heals one damage for each drone engaged with you. He loves 42. He does love 42. 42 Isn't that is the, his match the answer number. to life? It is the answer to life, according to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So I'm sorry, I did not even pay attention. Three, he attacked me for two, three, four. four plus one five. more five. Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, Forge is going to block. Uh, if your nemesis minion is in play, you're confused. Otherwise, place a threat on the main scheme. All right. I thought I was going to say, otherwise, put your nemesis in play. I was going to go, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is garbage. <laughs> that is the worst design ever. Uh, it's not, though. It's great. Um, I right. really do like this encounter set. I think it's it's really solid. Stand, the new standard or standard rivalry, yeah. like last year, they made some missteps with their standard deck. This one is really good because it's just really fun to see your nemesis set. Yeah, um, yeah but exactly. it's also fun not to get all of it at once. Yes. So, although it's that's... real bad against Phoenix when they, she pulls her minion because it does pull her side scheme, so that's that's a little sad. Um, yeah, I was I was just. When at Con of Heroes, I was just walking around and trying to play with as many people as I possibly could. I just like, you know, assert myself at a table. I'm like, hey, like, can I join? And most people said yes. Actually, I don't think anyone said no. But uh, when we did the campaign, I dropped. I sat down with a with a great group, and someone was playing Phoenix, and we pulled out this standard set for the first time, and then we put away Phoenix. Uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I talked to some guys who were playing. I, I played with them on the last day, um, but I had seen them in the hotel a couple times. Yeah. And they, this one guy was playing Phoenix the whole weekend with the standard nemesis. And they like just learned to deal with her. And I played her last go. week. She wasn't actually that bad. Dark Phoenix, if you've got a deck that can deal with her. Yeah. Like if you have a real aggression player, like Dark Phoenix is fine. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, you, ju you just have to deal with her. Um, okay, so you got your one encounter card. I, I Exhaustion surge. See, exhaust my identity. It's never one. Ooh, ooh. And we got Rage of Ultron. Ultron attacks you. Can I have a blocker? I mean, Angel will block for you. So hold on, I get the card. Wait, do we oh, yeah, determine you get the card? I think I think I get the card, and then you declare defenders. That's how we had played it last time. Okay. If anybody knows. Like, whether that's right or not, let us know. Um, yeah. So then I look at the ones in front of me, though, right? Or do we set his attack when it's in front of you? When Ultron I think we set his attack. It's one way or the other. So we either give you the drone and we check yours, or we give me the drone and check mine, then you block. Because it's all part of the same interrupt. So what is the attack? I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious now. If anybody in the chat knows, please... I feel like this was has been a question in the past. By the way, that is the smallest rules reference ever. <laughs> Wait, this one point four. Isn't there a new one? Yeah, there is. There is a new one. It's one point five. Ah, uh, that's all right. Um, well, actually, that that has not changed though. So, I I think it is. So when Ultron attacks you, interrupts the win. 
So at this initiation of the attack, I think we trigger the force interrupt. So that gives me the drone that sets my that sets the base, and then after Ultron has started his attack is when he declared Avengers. So I'm pretty sure I get the minion. He's attacking for four, and then we figure out who's blocking. All right. So Angel's blocking. If your nemesis minion is in play, this attack gains overkill. <sighs> Gross. Not well. It's fine. Angel. Had yeah. Exactly. Four no, it's just a anyway. nasty card. Unfortunately, nasty card is. Forge still around? Nope. He's the ultimate chumper. He just stays there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Victor Mancha. Wait, am I really at three life here? Oh, this is not great. <laughs> Ultron heals two damage for each drone. Oh, I'll back up to full. Oh, boo. boo. <laughs> All right. So I become first player, and then we do some stuff. I like that. I mean, for justice seems like a thing. Practice defense doesn't seem bad with the way things have gone. <laughs> Remove three threat from a scheme. Ooh, choose a tactic card in your discard pile and add it to your hand. That seems better than for justice. When there's only three threat out. I don't need this mission training. Ricochet beam. Three damage and three damage to somebody with an upgrade. Oh, we got a lot of drones out here, don't we? Huh. So I got a lot of justice stuff, but I don't have a lot of ways of preventing this from popping. It's the problem. Not a lot of confuse or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, how are you with dealing with your drones this turn? Do you need help? Yes, please. I'm going to be drawing two cards. Okay. No, I'm going to be drawing a card, so we'll see if that helps or not. All right, so okay. I'm going to pay oh. for Tactical Brilliance with X-Jet and Mission Training. Remove three threat from a scheme, and then I get to choose a tactic in my discard to draw. Nice. So I'll remove three from the main. I'll get a tactic. I really don't care what it is. Just anything to help pay for. You got, you got some priority targets in there, I think, right? Oh, is that a tactic? Yeah. Oh. You're right. All right. Yeah, no, that's way better. You're, you're way smarter than me. I mean, <laughs> nobody's surprised by that that's ever seen this stream. All right, so I'll priority target him. I'll punch this drone in the face to draw me two cards. Four Justice doesn't do anything. All right. Full Blast is nice. Maybe I hold that instead of Four Justice and then Ricochet Beam. Although I'm going to have to go down, I feel like. My three health is not cutting it. That's fair. Not in any world. I could put tactics on when I'm down, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And actually, you can go get another tactic when you roll down. Right. That, well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pay the two four justices to ricochet beam. Three damage to an enemy. Blink. Blink to another enemy. Blink. Oh, thank you. Wrist gauntlets and a resize. All right, remember how I said I wasn't going to lose the first game? I feel like I don't I do have a choice that, here. Yeah. Like, I, no, yeah. Or do you have a, well, no, you're at four health too. Are you going down too? Or are we both just like saying, screw it? Um, so I wasn't planning on it. I was playing, planning on play, paying, playing Pimp Particles to heal two to go up to six, flipping down to Tiny, drawing a card and hope, hoping that, uh, that, Something something helps me with that. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I mean, I feel like I have to flip down. Uh, so tactic. The other upgrade. thing is, is like we could just lose that that first one and deal with it, and then we have we have ourselves ready. Now you're not hitting the boss. The only tactic I have is exploit upgrade. Uh, exploit weakness left. 
So do you have to do that? No. Search your deck for a tactic upgrade and add it to your hand. But once I search, I feel like I do have to add it. Oh, pro- yeah, probably. Yeah, unfortunately. What's tactical brilliance? That's not a tactic, is it? No, that's a thwart. Yeah, so exploit weakness is my only one. Now, I can put it up if you're planning on attacking. No, I'm not. I'm exhausted. So the question is, do I hold it? Probably not. That's a... So I will end up discarding at the end of my turn. I I do think I'm going to keep full blast, though. Because, I mean, that's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> full blast is a great time. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. Okay. Although I need so, a tactic, and I don't have one in my deck. So I'm getting rid of it. Believe it or not. Oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, you could potentially get one with tactical brilliance if you have another one in those in your deck. i mean it could have just held exploit weakness and that's true full blast so let me just hold them and we'll decide at the end of the turn okay um e. yep go for it sorry well pin particles giant stomp and a hive mind to play ant-man's helmet i'm in giant form so i get to heal too when i play pen particles I'm at six. I'm thinking. Okay, so Ultron schemes. If he schemes with a plus two boost on you, then we're we're in trouble. But if he doesn't, if he pulls a zero or a one, it makes a lot of sense for me to go down as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I if there's threat on the second scheme, I'm not worried about it. I would. Yeah. I try to avoid getting the second scheme, but it's pretty unlikely right now because yeah twos and three i think yeah flip down yeah heal one flip down i'll heal one yeah, yeah we'll uh we'll call that good all right i'm gonna discard these two cards damage isn't the priority right now um getting through my deck so i can actually draw more stuff is oh expansion seems good with my three health <laughs> That makes me happy. Mutant Peacekeepers. Exhaust your hero and any number of X-Men allies. Remove X threat from among schemes where X is a total thwart of your characters. Yeah, that's really good when I get a bunch of allies with those uh, upgrades on them that give them plus the thwart. And I even feel like I have something that gives all my X-Men plus the thwart. Or am I crazy? I'm probably thinking of the Guardians attack thing. Um, Uncanny X-Men, maybe? No, you're running a Justice deck. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, so two on the main. I am, oops, I should ready myself. That would be much better than what's going on now. Uh, I am going to boost his two with another two. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Bummer. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Each player puts a you drone in. a drone. So that's going to be one more. And then he's going to scheme against you. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I mean, five is fine, actually, because I have a crisis averted in my hand. So oh, perfect. I don't really care about the six. Uh, oh. And then one more over here, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So now we're two encounter cards. Side scheme. I do care a little bit more about that. It's Mr. Hyde. Good. Yeah. Whose stupid idea was it to put Mr. Hyde in? <laughs> I, I, I don't know who that could have been. Uh, honestly, we both had the same idea, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I can't get hit by Mr. Hyde, though. Oh. <laughs> and he hits for 10? Um, and to get 10 to get rid of that? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's not super great. Um, that is okay, the I got... biggest uh, under whatever I've ever heard. <laughs> it's not <laughs> super great. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> Okay, so I got my uh, set aside Nemesis minion. Each Nemesis minion text the player they're engaged with. Oh, so hey, guess what? It's Captain Blank the text stuff, dude. Yellow jacket. I am not in neither, so I just take two. That's a dangerous card. Being anytime that you can get attacked in in Alter Ego is so scary. Oh, but that's just from Ultron. Doesn't Ultron attack? Oh no, the Nemesis attack. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
It doesn't say attach your the player. Yeah, it doesn't say hero. All right, so your first player. Okay, here we go. I guess um, <laughs> you seem you seem very excited, right? I I am. You know, any any time we can play uh, Marvel Champions, I, I'm going to be excited. So let's go ahead and flip up to Giant. We are going to ping here. Ah, pin particles. That gives me another counter for Hall of Heroes. When I flip to Giant, I get to heal two, so we're up to seven. I'm going to use this response window to go ahead and surprise attack Yellow Jacket. Get rid of that. Nice. Um, we will. You can kill mine with precision strike if you want to heal more. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. Um, let's do. I think, well, actually, this is, I can effectively thwart with three here. So I don't. Yep. I was like, I can flip down. No. Let's go ahead and, oh, nope, that's not the right button. Let's go ahead and do here. We're, we're going to use a hand cannon and just deal no, five. No, you could have resized. Just, oh, you had to resize to do that, I guess. I'm, yeah, I'm about to resize. Um, Wait, but how did I, you choose to switch from one to the other? So I, oh, just, I just did use my normal. Did you I start in my normal? No, I started in uh, tiny. Or I started in altar. Right, and I so to, to go giant. to giant was your normal, right? Yep, and then I'll resize down to tiny. I got it. Oh, yeah. you're still giant. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still giant. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you and I, for I three? attacked for five with the hand cannon, and so I just removed the five. Oh, here. nice. Look at you and your hand cannon. Look at me go. Look at me go. I know. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the things. You are. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like you're a justice player. At least we have one. <laughs> oh, did you see the the new keyword that they revealed in the live stream? It's the assault. So assault goes on side schemes. And in order to thwart the side schemes, you have to use your attack rather than your thwart. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Right? Yeah. Did you ever play Lord of the Rings? Oh, yes. We're actually, Terrence and I are playing Thursday. Nice. Um, cool. So I I have gotten into Lord of the Rings three times, but you know what? Let's save that for our post stream discussion. Um, <laughs> okay, let's, we'll, we'll, let's we'll, do we'll that. get into that post stream, uh, our post game <laughs> discussion. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'll, we'll talk Lord so, of the Rings. I mean, I, I want to talk a little bit about our like history and stuff like that, just yeah, to give yeah, people yeah. a little better idea of you and your channel and. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So where are we at? So I I just did a bunch of stuff. I resized down, yep. which drew me a card. I drew a card off of Ant-Man's helmet, and then I took a threat off of self-experimentation for my response and flipping down to Alter. While we are down here... Seems good. Ooh, I really want to play Wasp, but I don't think... I think we're going to go... Army? Army of Ants. Ah, <laughs> you killed my drone. I, I So... Funny, funny. I, I'm not. I'm gonna go <laughs> Yo. giant strength for precision strike to kill the drone. That heals me too and gets me a counter on Hall of Heroes. Now, if I use Army of Ants, I don't get the counter because it's a support. Yeah, I gotcha. And then we are going to toss to Wasp to go War Room, which is gonna be a lot more effective now that you're running a lot of allies. And we will Army of Ants to take one more off of self experimentation. By the way, like. It's like ally swarm is like my favorite thing in any oh, yeah. game ever so nice. like every deck i brought to kind of heroes was an ally swarm and this was one of them nice. so like nice yeah no that is by far now i can't do x mansion because i'm not an x-men right now so i can't use x jet or team building to pay for x mansion which is a little sad but that's fine <laughs> i have plenty of stuff mutant peacekeepers is definitely not getting used this turn uh clear the areas Pretty good. So which ally don't I care about? Polaris Center's play give X Men character a tough status, which seems good with my three health. After blindfold, yeah, sorry, blindfold. You gotta go. <laughs> um All right. And then I mean I can't oh, that was to pay for expansion. Expansion will heal me one. Cause healing's good. Um I will heal for three more. 
Then I'm going to flip up. I will do Polaris for one, two, Crisis Averted three. Pays for Polaris. She's going to give me tough because I said so. <laughs> uh, that readies me with Utopia. So Polaris thwarts for nice. one. I thwart for two. So Polaris is going to thwart this side. Oh, well, I guess she could attack. Oh, I can't clear the area. I don't have. Never mind. I thought I was going to clear the area, but I can't. So I could clear this side scheme, but I don't know that it matters. I'm going to focus on main. Uh, so I'll thwart two myself off main. And Polaris. Yeah, she'll punch for two, which will just get that down to one. Nice. And I am tough, so I feel better. And I have a chumper. And I have seven health. Cool. It feels like. Beautiful. All that feels good. Uh, I do have clear. Things are air. looking up. Things are looking up. I mean, it's me. Let's not let's not be hasty. <laughs> Don't be Don't hasty, be hasty, young <laughs> hobbit. Uh, clear uh, the area. Do I keep that? I mean, it's pretty good. It lets me draw a card. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Oh, well, I'm gonna deck anyway. <clears throat> Did we play again game together, at Con of Heroes? I can't even remember at this point. No, I don't think we were able to. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you were the same as me. People like kept asking to play, so I just kind of did. Yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, I want to play with you. I'm like, all right. Like, I don't know why. You've, you've played with me now. You see how terrible it is. Like, <laughs> Terrence is like I, the unlucky. I am having alive. a good time. I will have you know. <laughs> I am having a good time. That's, so <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you're having a good time because I definitely don't, you know, plan well. I just, uh, I just try to have fun. Is yeah. the is the main thing. All right, so Hyde's gonna clobber me. By the way, it's clobbering time. Uh, all right, so we're gonna add two to the main, and then you are first player, so you're about to get attacked. We have to add a drone or a oh, or some crap. Yeah. How's that? Uh, how's that thwarting potential look like for you? I mean, I have four justice. Uh, Phoenix. Um, Can I Phoenix I and four justice this turn? I should be able to. Yeah, so it's fine. Let's add four. Okay. I'm checking. I have lost... So I have two more Bring It somewhere in my five cards. So... I mean, that's okay, not so... great. Let's be honest. <laughs> well, I guess yeah, losing so... one here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world is all that means. Right. But I do have a I do have a mansion. And so I was, I was trying to figure out like what I, what exactly I wanted to do. If I wanted you're going to gonna mansion and, and just... use that mansion to bring in Army of Ants. That's what you're going to do. I'm just I like kidding. it. I don't know. <laughs> I probably will. I probably will, but we'll see. Uh, when Vru we take any amount of damage, remove that much damage from this scheme instead. Yeah, so I was trying to figure out if you did like 10 damage right now, would one go here and then the other nine here? I think not. It all would get used I think for it would a all go. threat. I think yeah. it would all go, yeah. All right. Um, all right, so you're getting attacked. Do you or three. Need bring me it to on. jump for you? No, I think we're fine. Okay. So four four or five yep with Down the four. drone yep all right so same thing for me now i actually think the order is this which does matter uh i'm gonna take the punch to the face from ultron oh my gosh give them an additional boost card from your set aside nemesis minion at random wow okay oh you have tough though i do oh, have tough i was like what are you doing <laughs> Uh, you were stunned. If you're already stunned, take two damage. Yeah. Uh, nice. That and we got my nemesis in play now. I mean, oh, good. Not in play, but you know, in <laughs> in something. So I'm stunned, but I did lose tough. I mean, he just hit me for like 57 damage on that attack. Yeah, that away. wasn't good. Good job, Polaris. Do I chump Polaris? I think not. I think I wait one more turn. So I will just take. Polaris is three to my face, and I'll take one more from the drone to my face. And I got Polaris in case the boss attacks, which it's never good. All right, uh, your first player, go ahead and draw a card. I get one too. Okay. Android efficiency. Each player puts the top card of their deck face down, engage with them as a drone minion. All right. I can't complain because my first turn, something. Uh, 
set aside Nemesis minion, the villain attacks you. See, this is why. This is why you kept Polaris. Because she's no longer set aside. Her. Who is mine? Mr. Sinister. He's no longer set aside. So he doesn't enter play, which means he does get a boost for this. And I got to put another drone in front of me. So he's attacking for 57 bajillion. I block. <laughs> and it's fine. You're welcome. Do, 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 do. Uh, recruit and loot. When revealed, discard the lowest cost upgrade or support you control. Reveal a random card from your set aside nemesis. Are you kidding me? Thanks. So I got to lose my lowest cost, which I think is going to be team building because I do have two of those in my deck. Although, uh I don't know. Losing team building is pretty tough. X-Mansion? X-Mansion. Healing's pretty good too, though. Ah. Oh. So, does Forge search your deck and discard pile? I think so. So maybe something that Forge can go grab? Yeah, so that would be X-Mansion or Utopia. X-Mansion and heals with... for one. Utopia gives me the opportunity to heal for three. By readying myself. Yeah. So I think it's X-Mansion. Although, ah, just brutal. Uh, then, by the way, just for fun, let's keep going through my Nemesis set and reveal this garbage. If Mr. Sinister is in play, he attacks you. Otherwise, take two damage. <laughs> Yikes. Everything's <laughs> fine. It's just, just <laughs> fine. Remember how we said this is way more nice than, like, getting all of them at once? <laughs> it's yeah. not not but right now it's now. not that is for darn sure holy moly you can go now are you sure i can go down are, are we sure is, is now i the said time? you can go now um oh um so obviously i'm going to try to get phoenix in play the question is what do i do first uh thwart two off the main i think um i will army advance this Oh, wait, or do you want me to leave that one for... I mean, I think we kill some of these drones. Who cares? Like, he's thwarting for... Oh, yeah, he's he's, he's true. <laughs> like, I, I don't know that I care about. Like, because all this does is protect him. And we'll be able to Correct. plank that at some point with something. Um, And actually, I could uh, clear the area to draw a card. Let's see if that's useful. What does Phoenix let me do? Ooh. Oh, there's two cards in my discard. Well, that's not great. You can grab a card that you use to pay for her with. Yeah, so I could use Tactical Brilliance to pay for her. And then draw it back in my hand. Yeah. I don't have any Tactics cards in my discard pile, but... Yeah, I mean, it just keeps my hand size good. So we'll pay those two Tactical Brilliance... To do Phoenix. Uh, and then she pulls Tactical Brilliance back in my hand. And Utopia lets me ready. Which will nice. be for healing. Yes. <laughs> I know oh you're shocked. One, one health is so scary. <laughs> uh, Alright. So while we're here, we're going to forge Justice. Using Tactical Brilliance. And clear the area. Two for justice. I'm going to hold the other for justice. So that takes four off. I think I'm going to have Phoenix. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should just kill something. There's so much have stuff. Her kill, have her kill a drone. Because yeah. then we can use War Room. Yep. We'll, we'll use War Room and take off the main probably. I should add her. Oh, no. Never mind. I swear if my visor is in these cards again, I'm gonna, <laughs> anger is going to happen. Yeah, so right. Search for a tactic. Now, here's a question. Can I play a tactic from Alter Ego? Is that a hero action? Well, uh, then... So, like, any of these upgrades, like the practice defense, you can play those. How about this one? Priority target is actually what I would really love for you to play. That, I, be I a, am. I would be a big fan But you know what? That. I'm, yes. I'm, it's it's going to be a, a, a dual-sided weapon. I'm going to put it on mine so you have to kill one of mine. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. 
I respect uh, it. I well, respect it. No, no, no. You're at four life. Never mind. I'm just kidding. There you go. You take it. You <laughs> that, take it that 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 move will kill us. <laughs> that that'd be hilarious though. Oh, so I I'm mean, in the middle of watching. That's what I do. Oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna heal myself for three. Ooh, yes, yeah, smart. You know what would have been hilarious if I didn't? Oh, I had to flip down and do that. I was say if I didn't flip down and just killed that drone right now. <laughs> <laughs> So I was, we were playing a game at uh, Kana Heroes where I mm-hmm. um, somebody was playing a, uh, a deck that, like, we were playing against Ultron, that every time he killed a drone, he readied himself. It's one of the champions. Nova, I think it is. Nova Core oh, yeah, or Nova. something. Yeah. He, like, readied Alicia himself and whatever. So before yeah. he went, I called for an action and started killing drones because I was so annoyed. Because <laughs> it was so long. Like, yeah. he, like would yeah. ready himself, draw a card ready is yep. re- free resource then he'd play yep. something that cost one yep kill a drone attack and by the time it was done yes all the drones were dead but he had done like three damage to the boss i'm yep. like this is gonna be th- it was the longest game ever now it was fun to watch one it wasn't fun it was fun to watch for like one turn and then mm-hmm. i was like oh that's kind of a cool combo but then somebody else had maria hill and he had a way to draw that card back into his hand now they've retconned that <laughs> nice where he can't draw whatever it is that... Oh, I think it leaves play or something now. I don't know. Go for Some, Champions does. The Unleashed the Nova Force still is fine. Oh, it's Go for Champions. Yeah, he would also go for Champions every turn, too. Because he was drawing, like, 15 cards a turn. So, yeah. like, yeah, it was it was, it was was sick. Um, anyway, all right. So, <laughs> I am done. Nice. Okay. So, while we're down here, we're going to use a Quinn Carrier to play Army of Ants. We will we'll kill this one. Nice. Which will draw me two cards. Ooh. No, bring it. Dig it. <laughs> you should have put it on yours. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we'll use the second RV of ants to kill this guy. Um, I guess we'll bring it for one oh, whole sense card. Of justice. Why not? Why not? We want to bring it for one card. Bring it for one card. Yes. Bring, oh, cool. Okay. Bring it. I get an encounter card, and I... Now, hold on. Yeah, what's up? Bring it emptied your deck, so I don't think it goes in your deck. I think it's in your discard. Right? Because as soon as your deck empties, because you had to play bring it to the table, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, I actually don't know. I, I mean, that's no the way idea. it works for the Nemesis. Like, as soon as you draw it as a boost or whatever, it shuffles... Even if it was a boost card, it doesn't say discard to boost. It, you know, you draw the card. And I think it's the same here. You're playing bring it to the table, right? I don't, draw I don't actually cards. know if you play it to the table. I, I don't know. I think that's I think right. this is this is Grim Rule to throw it here, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. And we'll just, just call it good. Okay. Um, What was I doing with my life? Oh yeah, we're going to mansion. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, genius, ready to rumble. Bring it to play mansion. Mansion will draw me a card into a hive mind, which is not worth it. Here, we will flip up to giant ant man, heal two. Yep. We will ping this guy. Kill the one by one. All of heroes get stronger. Um, we will hive mind for a precision strike to kill yours. And heal yep. two, and all of heroes get stronger. And that is. Oh, I have a basic attack, I guess. Um, should I? Yeah, we'll we'll just swing and hit Ultron for three. Get them ready to go back to 42. Sorry, I unplugged my headset. <laughs> no. So what oh, is, did you uh, did you say something useful to me? I, I We won. We did it. We won the game. All right. So <laughs> thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, this is the second time I'm closing out the podcast. Or the podcast. <laughs> the, uh, the stream without actually winning. Uh, okay. <laughs> so what, what just happened? I'm sorry. I, 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 I flipped I, up. Oh, okay. Oh, no, you're fine. I flipped up. I took care of some minions. I swung at Ultron to put him at 41. No, no, no. All right. You swung at Ultron is the only part I missed. Yeah. That. 
Okay. Like I was with you through the killing my drone and all, or, or and all that. I just missed yeah, yeah. the end where you swung and hit him. All right, cool. All right, so ready up, draw up. So I keep the giant stomp. Do I keep the giant stomp? Eight damage, clear out. I think I do. Giant stomp is pretty awesome against drones. Yeah, because I'll drones. take a drone then, since I'm and... alter ego, because it'll only be one threat instead of two. Yeah. And it gets me so oh yeah, let's go. Got a double. Dang it, I'm not gonna play Tiger. Actually I may play Tiger. I may be able to play Tiger. But yeah, so the giant stop is also just gonna set me up for a Hall of Heroes. Well you have a oh, mansion and a Quinn this... carrier, and you can play Tiger when you go down also. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you end up going down this turn. Cause yeah. I should... Oh my gosh, what did I just do? I I don't know what I did. Oh, that's all right. What <laughs> which hero do you have? Ant Man. Ant Man. Oh, is this just choosing my? Uh... Yeah. There's wasps. So is it right here? Be down here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I, you hit this, this little this button? button over here, flip play mat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it nice. changes the art. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we could do this. Lock. There cool. You go. Now that won't happen. I was wondering why that button was here. I've never played with uh, <laughs> with somebody who did that before. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I I was going to uh, make fun of you, but. You know, I don't know you that well yet. I, I just make fun of <laughs> nah. everybody. That's part of my nature. I, I'm used to being made fun of, so that's fine. Nice. <laughs> uh, okay. By the way, what does this card do? War Room. Oh, you get to remove a threat. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's add which, two threat to the main. Which I could say that I thought out of how awesome of a combo that is with Tigra. But I, I, I'm going to... I'm going to be honest here and just now noticing drawing Tigra where she gets to heal and she can just kill the drones, remove a threat and heal. And it's just like, that's, yeah, no, I, that's, you that's totally did that on purpose. right there. Yeah, I did. Sure. Yeah. It was great. No question it great. about it. <laughs> um, yeah, by the way, I don't have forge either. Okay. Uh, do to do. We added two to the main. Now he is going to scheme against me. Oh, uh, oh uh, we're going to add, I'm going to add a drone. I am going to add drone. two. I'm going to add two to the main. Yeah, you're not adding a drone. Not with your eight health. Yeah. Uh, I do have Phoenix to block for you if you want me to, by the way. Okay. So um, I, what, We'll see. With that we'll being see. said, well, it's tough because you want her to block like the second one if you get a next one. Right. Not so I think one. I'm going to defend. I think I'm going to defend. Yeah. Oh, your giant attack. form? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you put the two on. Now he is scheming against me for two plus two is four. Okay. Uh, then I got two in front of me, one, two. So it's up to 14. All right, so he is attacking you. You're going to defend, you said? Yep. For two more, so that's four, five total. Minus your five total three. Defense. defense. Defend for two. Two, and then you take one. It was five total? Oh, it was five total. Yeah, yeah three for yep. Ultron because of the drone, and then yeah. the boosted two. Yep. All right, you good? Uh, sure. I mean, <laughs> as good as we can be. Set aside Nemesis side scheme, the villain schemes. Uh oh. So the good news is my side scheme is here. I don't know if that's good or not. We don't draw the boost because so of that. So the Amplify doesn't work. <laughs> so nice. the Amplify doesn't work. When defeated, search the encounter deck and discard pile for gene therapy and reveal it do we have any which one's gene therapy we don't have any in the deck is yeah. the good news that's uh, nice because really we did nice. i did boost something but it wasn't that there's right. only two gene therapies right yeah i i forget what the other thing was i definitely pulled something else out but it wasn't that i don't think i think you grabbed mr sinister no but there's another one. Oh, there's a oh 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 oh, oh. it wasn't a gene therapy was it let me look. Were there th are there three in that side set scheme? Well, whatever. It's not in here. Or am I thinking last game? What is going on? No, there's there's <laughs> a third one somewhere. I'm just not recognizing it. Which means it can't be gene therapy because I would. Cyclops and Nemesis. Oh, that's me. I'm Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. So it's concussive force. All right. So yes, not gene therapy. Good news. So we can defeat that side scheme. All right. Cool. So the bottom line is he does scheme against me for two. Okay. You only let's, have two. Uh, it's fine. 
Each player puts the top card of their deck face down in play as a drone minion. And we've got a more drone minions. Don't worry, I got a ground stomp, so we are feeling pretty good about that. Oh, that is amazing. That's going to give me... That's effectively six card draw. Remember Tigra? Yeah, let's not worry about her. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, so we just got to plink this one off first, because then you can stomp Mr. Hyde, well, too. Oh, yeah. You might be able to play Tigra, actually, because if I... Oh, no. It, so hero action deals one damage to each minion and then eight damage to an enemy, so it will plink the one first. Because he's resolving a sentence at a time. Oh. So that's kind of cool. So to plink the one. Yeah, that works. I like that. Look at you. Check out Let's the go. big brain. I like it. <laughs> Nelson, big brain. We're renaming your channel. <laughs> Nelson, Nelson in the brain. Nelson in the brain. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. I do have Psylocke. I don't know. I can't pay for Psylocke. I don't know why I mentioned it, but it's fine. Um. All right. So we're done I with us. Yeah, first. to you. Yep. How much how much thwarting you got going on? Because I think I need to go down. Uh, go for it. I mean, I'm going to afford justice, and that's mostly it. I'll be able to thwart some myself. It, uh, it'll it'll be down enough where we're not going to worry about losing it unless we get a advance or whatever. Whatever the new advance right. is in the set. Yeah. Okay, so, which I think the new of, yeah, whatever. Uh, it's something. It'll So, deal one damage to each that. minion. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so and we, then this we max this too. out. And the enemy, right? Uh, So, it's deal one damage to each minion and then deal eight damage to an enemy. So, I'm going to hit Mr. Hyde here. Um, seems good. Seems pretty good. I don't like to get punched uh, in the face for three. I am going to flip to altar. We're going to heal. I'm yep. going to use Hall of Heroes to take this down to eight. Draw three. Draw three cards. Seems good. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go strength and a giant stomp to play Tigra. Um, I'll go ahead and kill Mr. Hyde if you're cool with that. Unless nope. you need him for something. Okay. I'm just kidding. We'll do that. We <laughs> of course will you can remove... kill him. I hate... Now, you do take the uh, consequential. But I heal it. No, no, no. But the ordering of things is... Oh, yeah. You're right. Consequential yeah, for the is first left. one. Yeah. Now, the nice part is if you have two damage on you... I think, I think the... they just changed that, actually. Did they? I think so, because it's after you attack and defeat a minion. I, I I don't, because it's after you, I don't know. I don't know. It used to be that Consequential was the last thing you did on your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I still think it is. Um, All right. So, any, oh, you still have cards. You're going to do Army I Ants. I still have cards. I'm going <laughs> to Precision for Army because of Ants, and I'm going to give you a mansion. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar, and that just gave me a for <laughs> justice, which will... Oh, that's big. That's yeah, big. that'll make the, all of us happy. Now, have you been helmeting? I guess so. Like, you haven't gone up or anything. Wow. Your Hall of Heroes, did you just... Didn't you just use some off of it? Oh, yeah, you just... Yeah, but the ground sound wiped six. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, do you get one for killing Hyde? Or that was Tiger killing. How does that work? That's not you, right? No, no, I did not. I don't get it if the army of ants or if allies do it. Only, only me or upgrades. Oh, I just realized I can't really priority target now. Uh, so what useless thing do I want to pull out of here? Where's the one where I do plus one damage? Or practice defense. That's not actually useless. There you go. Minus one to your attack. Uh, well, actually, I might not put it on him. I may use it as a resource. We'll see what happens here. Why are so many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. It's just two extra. All right. So I'm going to heal myself. Because health seems good. Um, 
let's start by for justicing we'll use x jet and i doubt i'm gonna play blindfold here with angel and psylocke in my hand i can't imagine the the call, call is blindfold um so i'm gonna pay those two to for justice removing four threat i'm actually gonna get rid of the side cool uh then i am going to I for justice again. And then just put Angel in. Yeah. I will for justice again. Paying one, two. So I paid with Psylocke, so that is another mental, so that's four more. Nice. And then I got team building and. Practice defense isn't going to matter, so I'll just hold on to mission training. And Angel, which lets me ready myself with Utopia. And I'm going to thwart for a lot, right? Well, Angel will punch, but Phoenix and I will thwart. So that's a total of four thwart. Nice. And two damage. Nice. An angel, you're about to be dead. And Phoenix will be around for a little bit more because I'll put mission training on her in a minute. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, all right, ready up. We're going to draw up. I swear I have a card that's supposed to boost everybody's sorting by one. Like, I need to look up on Hall of Heroes right now. Speaking of Hall of Heroes. I think I think you're probably thinking of Uncanny No, not Uncanny X Men. That's uh that's the Avengers team up card. Sense of justice. No, I don't know why. Is there a Leader Leader that's Leader what it was. It's Guardians. my Guardians deck that has that. Pack. That's what it is. Leader of the Guardians gives everybody I was like, I, I know I played a justice deck like that <laughs> had plus one thwart for everybody, and I felt very happy about that. Um, okay. Nice. So we're going to add two threat. And then he is going to scheme again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to chump. I still don't want a drone. I'm going to add two threat. I have Professor X coming out. So I'll actually okay. confuse this nice. turn. Uh, okay. So he's going to attack me. We are going to get a drone. I'm going to use Angel because that's what Angel does. Yep, that three boost feels <laughs> real good in Angel's face. Bye, Angel. Angel I hardly knew ye. Um, all right, I'm going to take the damage and then we get our cards. Bye. Card. Uh, he did. Didn't he? He did? Okay. No, he didn't. Right. Well, had to have right no i cheated he didn't scheme against you so that three boost was the scheme against you because i would have gone first Six. So that's 17. yeah and then one more for the drone all right so then he attacks angel blocks two more uh and i already sorry hold on. no i think it was six total because it was a two Plus the three scheme is five, and then the drone was... So we're at 11. Gets us yeah. 17. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then he attacked me for three, four, five. But nice. Forge took that, or Angel took that, and then I did take the one damage from the drone. Okay. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. Dash Trolltron. Oh, do you? I got, I got that sweet Nice. Sweet we both have Sunfires, <laughs> which is really nice. But one real. <laughs> each drone minion engage with your hero attacks. If no minions were made this way. Okay. I'll take one damage. That's fine. Al. <laughs> your hero. Yep. All right. So we're done. So I get to go first. Get that first. I'm going to call on an act. These 
public here. It's just so absolutely thinking about what I'm doing. Oh, I got a priority target, by the way, in my hand, which always feels good. Yep, we'll put that on here. Oh, I can't even punch, though. And that's an attack, too. Well, that's a little sad. I mean, I'm still doing it, so I'll get rid of my stun. Is that really what I should do? No, this is... If Phoenix kills him, do I still get it, right? Yeah, yeah, you still get it. All right, so we will use... Do, 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 do. Well, I still... If I do mission training... Oh, yeah, because I'll draw two cards. All right, so yeah, Field Commander puts mission training on Phoenix. Phoenix is going to kill. Going up to three. Oh, my phone is dying, so sorry, chat. I will be back in a minute. There well, hasn't been a lot of chat recently, so uh, this dies. I draw two cards. Ooh, Crisis Averted seems good right now, although Professor X seems way better. I can give you a mansion if that helps. Um, I don't know. Like if, if, I don't know. I don't know like yeah, that's two. And tactical brilliance. Well, I'm gonna on. give it let's, to you. Let's do this. And I think I'm gonna confuse with it, right? Okay. Yeah. What am I looking for? Status tokens. There it is. Um. Oh, you also killed a. Uh, oh. Sorry, I got rid of you again. Oh, we won again. Yeah. Uh, uh, so Utopia, I do. <laughs> oh, I used you. I already readied myself. Did I? The stun is gone. No, I never did anything actually. I, I said I was gonna get rid of the stun, but I actually gonna thwart for two. Then I'll ready yeah. with Professor X. Okay. Um. So you gave me mansion. You said. Uh. Yeah. Okay. If, if anything, well, that's what I was thinking. So, I don't... and the tactical brilliance could be another. Yes, it will be. In fact, and I'll give it to you. Nice. So my man, it did. Turned into it did. I mean, I could just take it for myself, but that <laughs> seems like a giant d bag move at this point, since you just gave me your thing. Uh, remove three threat from a scheme and choose a tactic. We'll do priority target on your dude. I assume you can kill it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we get to remove three threat. By the way, we're going to make it three more threat. So that's six threat. Seven, eight threat. Very nice. It's a lot of threat. I like and confused. And oh, confused. which reminds me. I'm flipping down. Really Wait, did I start down? I feel like yeah. I started down. No, I because okay. I was down. No, I was down. Yep. down. So I could pull another card, oh, but I don't angel. see the point. Well, I'm going to... Well, if I search, I got to pull it, we said. Uh, and I got a chumper for you, too, by the way, with Professor X. So Beautiful. feel free to Beautiful. not be uh, careful at all. <laughs> I like it. Sounds good. Okay. So we are going to... Seems good. Oh, I'm a robot again, apparently. Oh, your audio? Yeah. Do I need to hop out and come back in? You know what, everybody? Yes, we are going to do that, but I need to use the restroom real quick. So I'm going to go to the okay. um, wait for us screen. And I will have you hop out. Um, so we'll be right back, everybody. Yeah. And uh, I apologize, but I'm going to use the restroom real quick. And we'll get Nelson right back in. Cool.
All right, everybody, we are back, and I apologize for that. And hopefully, Nelson's volume is good again. What's up, Nelson? Hopefully. What... Nothing much. All right, so um, let's go ahead and do your turn. You said you reset it, so we're doing it from the beginning again. And uh, yeah. let us know if you can hear him. Yep. Well, okay, so I guess I, I reset as in. Yeah, I just flip back down. So we're going to flip up the giant. Yep. When I flip up the giant, I get to heal two, and I get to deal a damage. I'm going to deal a damage here to take out Thor. Man, Thor is not having a good day with that. <laughs> He's been taken as a drone for a couple of times. Um, ooh, I guess we do have surprise attacks that we can start throwing. Um, there's no reason to do surprise attacks. Oh, actually, if I want to heal, there is. Let's use pimp particles. are still in my response window for changing. So we'll hit Ultron for four with a pen particle, which will heal me up to 10. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of that. Well, especially I'm, when you have a blocker too. So you'll be like fully healed and all blocked up. The only negative one, so far is Tiger is not going to get to kill something and heal herself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I have my mental. I have. I need a lightning because I have Sunfire. So Sunfire is going to come out. Oh. Get have rid we of been that. doing this? Or did this just came out? That just came out. That just okay. came out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I have a Sunfire. And so I'm going to be able to get rid of Sunfire. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I'm able to. You know what? No. We're going to. We're, we're not going to play another surprise attack right now. Because I think. I guess I could do the math. I'm not gonna do the well, math. Well, you have a resize, by the way. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go resize down to one. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, down to one. That's going to draw me a card from my helmet as well as the resize. So that's gonna be two, and then I get to remove a threat from a scheme. So that's gonna be the main. Did you, you didn't do that, right? I I did. I took it down to five. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're just fast. Okay. Oh, I got another resize interesting okay that's that's actually perfect that's actually perfect and you get your wrist gauntlets by the way and i got my wrist gauntlets what i think i'm gonna do okay so i can use my pim particles and my much better he sounds like a real person again Woohoo! <laughs> he's a real little um, boy i am and my one by one to play sunfire We'll use Quinn Carrier to generate a lightning resource to get rid of our program transmitter here. Yep. Um, while we're down here, we'll hit Ultron for three with my army of ants. You know what would have been really good? Or what will be what? really good? When I put that um, take plus one damage for every source of damage and use Antum to death. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can even oh, do that that's... next turn. Uh, that's I'm not first going player. to be epic. I'm, that's oh, going to be epic. But I can pull it when I'm not first player. Right? You can pull it, but you can't play it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I did not draw a card for the um, the pin particles. So that's, yep. that's going to give me dust again. Um, Any of these that I want to get out? I mean, we're sitting at... Psylocke, right? Psylocke seems like the obvious... I think it is Psylocke. I mean, because three um, confuses twice. Yeah, it's gonna oh, be wait. Psylocke. Why is it already confused? Um, Professor X. Right. Never mind. So Psylocke, not priority, but I mean, it, it will be good though. Um, and I think I prioritize Psylocke over Wasp at this point because Psylocke is long-term benefit for us. And also over dust because I right. can't have multiple allies on the field. So let's go ahead and resize here. So I'm going to change form to big. I get to deal a damage to Ultron, which I just did. I get to heal two. So I'm up to max and I get to draw a card. Hey, yeah, Drew, bring it. It decks me out. So I get a encounter card. Then we are going to uh, actually, um, yeah. Uh, you know what? Mm. 
Yeah, we're fine. I was going to say I should have played Giant Strength first, but I think the Gauntlets are probably a better play. Well, long term, Just for sure. I mean, long -term. free stun and confuse. You don't need to stun this turn, though, because we have a Chumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know if this was a misplay, but I'm going to drop these cards to play Psylocke. I may should have put him back in the reshuffle, but here we are. Um, I think, I think I probably, if I thought about it for long enough, I probably wouldn't have done that just because we have, um, just because I, I have these allies. I mean, these a, you, these allies are not going anywhere because don't forget, right, Professor exactly. X is dying this turn. So, right. yeah, I mean, dropping your allies is not the worst thing in the world. Now, twenty two cards to go is uh, is a long time without, <laughs> <laughs> but right. it'll be fine. Um, because yeah, Tiger's be never going anywhere, so it's really just right. Sunfire. And Psylocke is probably hanging out for a long while. Well, right, because yeah, um, you want to attack yeah. at least two more confuses with her. So yeah. We're going to drop the Risk Gauntlets. I think that's the better long-term play here. Um, we're going to yep. hang on to the, the Bring It. We will swing for three, um, Four, five, five, seven. Now, you sure you want to do Tiger this turn? I do, because okay. she'll heal before I take the Consequential. So she can sit at two forever. Well, I was just thinking if I put on whatchamacallit next turn, which I can't actually because I'm after you, so never mind. Yeah. Um, is this is that you? We should have run the field commander. We should have thrown the field commander up there. <laughs> I mean, I've literally discarded it three times now. I feel like <laughs> for as a resource. All right, so ready up, draw. Up. Yep. I'm gonna keep my bring it. By the way, I'm still three. stunned. Cool. <laughs> just... Two doubles. Great. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I got Pixie. Oh, and I got Forge. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Alrighty. Do you, do you want to take one of my doubles? I'll give you a double. I mean, if we can cheat. <laughs> there, there was a thing in uh, one of the things, where, right, in one of the uh, missions at Kind of Heroes where you passed cards yeah, to the yeah. player on your left. That would have been nice right yeah. now. Right? Yeah. Full Blast seems good. But you know what I haven't seen in a while? My visor. It might be in nice. these last four cards. I don't even know. Or three cards. I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, we're going to add two threats to the scheme. Then he is going to try to scheme against me, but he is confused. So he... I'm going to Oh, take we're a drone. both putting drones in, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, I have crisis averted. Is it easier for you to kill? Like, do you want to kill stuff for Hall of Heroes, or um, you'll, have, you'll have enough stuff in front of you to kill? I have... I, I think... Yeah, I think Hall of Heroes is... You're where, good. Hall of Heroes is not. We're not trying to charge it. We're Hall of Heroes will always be charged. <laughs> Although, now that I think about it, the drone only adds one threat, so I'm just gonna add the drone. I bet you that's your visor. <sighs> Don't say. <that. laughs> Hold on. Actually, I am gonna do something real quick. <laughs> what is it? Tactical visor? No. I th uh. I don't remember actually. Ruby Quartz Visor. Ruby Quartz Visor. You know what? It is in those last three cards. You son of a dog. You talked me into it. <laughs> I'm just curious now. I'm going to shuffle them up. It was a four justice. Huh. You would have been fine. See? <laughs> You're the one who said I wouldn't be fine. You're <laughs> the one who scared me. <laughs> son of a dog. Son of a dog. Uh, All right. Uh, so I took the two threat. And now he would. He already tried to scheme against me. Uh, he's confused. He's confused. So now you take an extra card. Professor yep. X blocks. Blocker. Nothing happens. I take two. Oh, you just decked. That's right. I'm about to deck next turn. Oh. Ultron's imperative. First player puts the top two cards of their deck face down and engage with them as drone minions. Well, <sighs> isn't that special? Me. I really wish that was me. Because I got that bring it. I know. Well. All right. Hey, my, hey Calvin. When revealed, uh, if Mr. Hyde is in the play, discard this card. He attacks. That attacks gain overkill. Searching counter deck and discard power for Mr. Hyde and put him into play. And get, do you have Vivian by any chance? 
not in my hand, but Pixie. Ultron attacks you. Discard the top card of your attack for each damage dealt by this attack. Ultron She's not in my discard attack. either. Guess what? Her and Tactical Visor are in there. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Or is no, Vivian even on. in that deck? Vivian's in there. My Tactical Visor's in there. And a Four Justice. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me double check that. Vivian, really? Vivian! Is, is Vivian, or is, was Vivian in your last deck? I don't know. Is she X-Men? No. Oh, then she's not in this she's deck. champion. Yeah, she's not in this deck, though. All right, where are we at? Okay. Uh, Ultron is attacking me for two, three, four, five, and I'm blocking with Sunfire. Yeah, that seems like... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, was this the card that made him attack? Yes. So it gets shuffled before that card gets put in. Overkill. Just kidding. What? Two boost. No. <laughs> Stop that. No. <laughs> All right. So he's attacking for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven. So, so you have to discard one, seven cards. Two, three, four. Remember all those allies five, you were sad about losing? Six. <laughs> seven. There we go. You're okay. almost decked again. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to draw four cards. I will probably deck. I will deck this turn. Oh, did we do? No, this just came out this turn. That's right. I was yeah. about to say, did we get the extra bonus card just for the fun of it? <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna. I lost my visor again. I guarantee it. There's no question. It's in one of these two cards. <sighs> oh, Anger <nice>. rising. <laughs> okay, so I take the first player token. Yep. Let's bring it. So I get to draw four. I'm going to search Sweet. this card. I'm going to use my action to see if uh, what this card is. Oh, it's my visor. <laughs> this is my ah, visor. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, nice. my gosh. That's amazing. All right. Okay, so I have... Searching counter deck and discard power from Mr. Hyde and put him in engage with the player who was engaged with Calvin. I'm I think you just leave him unless you're going alter ego. Right before you go alter ego, you kill him, right? Is there any reason to kill him now and put in a... I, th I can kill Mr. Hyde is what I'm thinking. Oh, but shouldn't we just kill the boss at some point? That's true. <laughs> like, like do we really need to waste 10 damage on hide that's and fair 14 damage on zabo and hide fine i guess <laughs> um okay so with with that logic uh let's I mean, to be a... fair we are just going to a harder villain like <laughs> so maybe we do and he can't that. take damage when minions are out or when drones are out drones, when drones are out drones. on stage three so i think we need to set it up so we are like ready to absolutely decimate i mean so if you, we, with that uh, being said if you want to get rid of zabo and hide go for it i just feel like they're going to keep coming out and yeah yeah no i i i agree with i agree with the logic um, especially when it's only one attack like again if right. you're going alter ego all day then that's different, right. but so my my question is, do um what is my question? Um, I can't help you with that. I know. <laughs> Man, thinking is hard. Are we ready to? I don't think we're ready to push Ultron, but I think I can get him down to pretty close. Yeah, I mean, if we can do 23 damage, that's ideal, right? And then just that next turn, you take them over and and just go. go. Crazy. Yep, yep. I mean, uh, taking out your these drones is pretty important. There's a lot of them, though. I, 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 I have a giant stomp, so I'm going to clear all the drones. Okay, because they also become, uh, like, super drones next mission. Yeah. Or as yeah, soon yeah. as he flips. So yeah. we definitely don't want... We want as few drones as possible when he yeah. flips. And then we're also going to have to be prepared to not take drones unless we really need to. 
right? So, so how's your thwarting look like? Uh, I mean, I've got allies, so I'm fine. Okay. Between allies so... and me, it'll be fine. There's only nine threat on the main and four here. Everything's awesome. It's fine. I do have Actually, a crisis okay, averted we're... if we really need it, but we're fine. I'm going to take this drone out, which will use War Room to remove one threat on uh, Ultron's Imperative. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Now we will flip down to yeah, oh, Phoenix Swords for three, three actually. In giant doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Lord of all threat. Okay, we'll go down. We'll remove one threat here. Uh, Ant Man's helmet will draw me a card, which is th well actually Thor Phoenix Swords for three. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I just was I just stopped paying attention to you. I apologize. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'm totally used to it. I, I play with Terrence all the time. It yeah. is all good. <laughs> While I was up there, I giant stomped. By the way, I just forgot to do that. We got one, two, three, four. So this goes up to nine, and then we'll go eight onto Ultron. So he goes down to sixteen. I get the damage on. Zabo. Oh, yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Okay. While we're down here, we'll do three army of ants to take Ultron down to 13. Yep. We will, I guess we'll Psylocke. Did you helmet two. whatever that was when you changed? I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To confuse Ultron. Yes. Now, with that being said, are you going down? Uh, No. Okay. So I'm at a lot of help. me in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Or just like the surprise advance, like. It's yeah. might as well, right? Oh, of course. Um, Absolutely. Well, I could stun him. I could stun him. That seems pretty good. Means let's uh, let's resize. Good. Jump up to giant. We'll deal two damage. Or one damage, I'm sorry. To the villain, we'll heal two with the helmet. And we get to draw a card. Uh, You're still in that window. While I, yeah, while I was down i'm gonna use pim particles uh to play thor thor is coming out um, nice then okay you're are you there yeah I, i'm here i'm just i'm just thinking um so you can surprise attack or giant stomp again which would i don't think i want a giant stomp yeah i don't think i want a giant stomp uh, Although, so we will, we're gonna hang on to giant stomp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to you can ready to rumble because you just... surprise attack for four, yeah. swing for three, so seven damage to Ultron. Yeah, that puts him two, two away. And then, so maybe I hold full blast and get rid of my stun this turn. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Oh, I'm first player. For some reason, I thought you, I thought you had already gone. Um, no. I should not have taken that mansion. Then I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I was just like, we'll see what the mansion brings. Um, I know actually, it don't think I've used me. My... It would have brought my visor out. <laughs> but I would also take it. Well, I'm going to take the extra card anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Are, are you? Are we okay with just retconning that? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and shuffle it in your deck. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you can you can take your card. And I don't think I've used my form change yet. Um, because I played two resizes. Do so I want to stay in again? giant? Yeah, I think I will change. I think I'm gonna change down to Ant Man. Take it's one off tiny? the main. Yeah, yeah, down to tiny. Oh, and I get to draw a card then. <laughs> Which is a precision strike. Um, I don't think I want to precision strike here. Yeah, so we'll uh We'll call that good. Okay. That was that was a crazy turn. I that apologize. was good. <laughs> well, now I can potentially. Do I want to draw the card and maybe I just hold it for next turn? That lets me. That lets us do extra damage for every attack. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, exploit weakness. I already have it. Actually. Sweet. 
And I, I am again retconning. I'm actually going to go to Alter Ego. Just so I can trigger a Hall of Heroes so we can swing up for a big attack. Well, hold on, hold on. So you don't... What did you I, do? I, you I add, add the, the threat. I added. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. I'm going to search We're for, for something I don't care about. A tactic I don't care about. I don't need two exploit weaknesses. It was on the top of my deck, ironically. Because I don't think we have two turns left, right? We're just probably going next turn. It's going to happen. Um, all right. So I'm thwarting with Phoenix. This puts her up to four damage to get rid of this garbage. I'm going to heal myself. Although, do I need to? We've got Chumpers. We've got Thor with his tough. We got Phoenix. Although, to be honest, we should probably just take the damage this turn. And so I'm going to heal because of that. Because next turn, we're going to try to have a big turn, right? Yeah. So if I exploit and weakness I... next turn, we definitely want to have all the damage yeah. for next turn. Yeah. Should I have Thor take out Calvin? Because I went down to Alter Ego. I mean, he's then he loses. Well, you don't care about the tough because we're not blocking yeah. this turn. Okay. So you want to search for hide? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, I had a little bit of anti-synergy going on um, because I have Forge, which could have brought me Mansion out, but then I can't use team building to pay for Forge, right? So instead, I think I'm going to do Pixie. And I'm going to pay for her with Forge. Okay. And then Pixie comes, and then Forge comes back to my hand. Nice. Um, I'm going to try to hold full blast and exploit weakness for next turn. Oh, when Pixie comes in, Utopia to ready myself. Um, I mean, is it worth putting my visor in at this late in the game? Does it even matter? I guess it gives me what piercing, which doesn't even matter, right? I don't think there's a huge. I mean, at this point, because I want a full blast next turn. So I do need to get rid of stunned. So I think I go crisis averted here. One. Wait, forge searches anywhere. So I'm going to go one. Two to put forge into play. And get my mansion. By the way, for some reason, Field Commander came up when I started typing mansion. I think that's just <laughs> to taunt me. Huh. Um, <laughs> all right, so now I can do Crisis Averted. X Mansion, Mission Training, X Jet pays for Crisis Averted. So that's six off main. Nice. I mean, I don't know that it matters at this point, but... And then I'm just going to get rid of my stunned. Uh, and I guess they should attack. Well, Pixie would take two. So she'll thwart for one. Just to clear it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Forge will attack for one. Even though I'm trying not to kill them. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So we get them down to one. And then... Next turn, I'm going to have Exploit Weakness on him. And so all and these little first. clicky attacks become, like... Huge. Yeah. yeah. Much better. All right. That's awesome. So I'm readying everything up. I don't need to have my visor for full blast, right? No. All right. So I'm going to draw three. So so we're getting... We're not going to take drones. I think we are taking drones. Oh. But when we flip him, he doesn't take damage if the right. drones out. So we want to not take any drones. Yes. And then you're going for... I'm going to toss my one by one then. Yeah, we're not taking drones. You're right. Because each one takes two to kill. Which is annoying. All right. Oh, yeah, you got hide. Well, we don't care yeah. about hide. All right. So two on main... Uh, he tries to scheme against you, but is confused. Oh, oh, we're, first we're each first. putting two. Yep. Okay. 
I mean, yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah, this yeah because it, even if we pop this, we we still have time. It's not an auto loss if we pop this. We still have, we're on a I mean, timer, and I think there's time zero is chance we pop. We lose it, right? Like, I mean, even if we go full out attack. Oh, I have ricochet yeah, yeah, yeah. beam. By the way, oh, beautiful. you know what ricochet beam is really good with? Uh, exploit weakness. exploit weakness. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, I also have priority target, so that'll help me take out a drone. I guess maybe ricochet beam just takes out the two drones. So, um, we'll see if we need it. Okay, um, so he is going to attack me now, though. Oh, uh, sorry, hide schemes for one. Uh, he is going to attack me now, so that means i got to put a drone in. And he's attacking me for 2, 3, plus a boost of 2 more, so that's 5. And then 1 more from the drone, and pray to God we don't get attacked anymore, because I'd hate to waste <laughs> my blockers. Because we all have extra attacks, too. Oh, yeah. and Psylocke has that's a second form of damage. So she attacks for one. Yeah. And then that's a yes. second form of damage. So each of them get the plus one. That's awesome. That's yeah. really fun. That's really, really cool. Yep. Okay. Um you are first player. So go ahead and take your card. Upgraded drones. Each drone gets plus one attack and plus one hit points. That's not as awesome oh it doesn't matter ricochet beam boom okay nice then reveal your set aside nemesis minion the villain attacks your hero um if your nemesis minion is in play do not get the villain a you're so i it's set aside i think nothing happens because you i think, you already yeah, I think it's still out and it only attacks hero we are an alter ego yep so, so it's we... literally a nothing sweet yeah hey Guess what I just lost? Hey, you found the visor. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, hold on. What do I have to do here? Search your deck in this card pile. You can't attack, though. That's the big thing. That's actually huge. I mean, it doesn't matter that much, honestly. Yeah, you're, I guess it's just... I mean, match, I just right? have one attack. Well, yeah, I don't even have allies in hand, so I can't even get a second attack. Oh, I can't full blast, though. Yeah. You, what? Whatever. I can't ricochet beam. Oh, come on. <laughs> that is... Oh, I hate you. All that, game, that I've not though. had a visor. Uh, one revealed. If Calvin Zabo is in play, he schemes. Uh-oh. If Mr. Hyde is in play, give him the tough status card and he attacks you. Even if you're an alter ego. Wait, it says you. So that's me. Well, that's not going to oh, happen. Yeah. Um... So how many... Three damage? Yeah. It's fine. Forge blocks. All right. Those last... My two cards were both Madonkey. Just yeah. want to point that out. Wasn't great. I mean, what can I do? I mean, there's plenty I could do, but what can I do? This is... Oh, Throw priority that's... target on Ultron, I guess? I mean, I'm still doing Maybe. that, right? Oh, do I have one of each? Oh, I do. So that's what I do. I get rid of this garbage. Nice. I mean, theoretically, we don't want to have another turn, but I don't think it's going to happen. Like, I just got... That was terrible. Whatever just happened there, nobody wanted to see <laughs> that. No, Nobody liked that. Um... Uh, so I'll use this as a fist. Tactical I think brilliance. you... I still think you throw that uh, exploit weakness on Ultron. I have a lot of damage coming. Of course. Do you yeah, need okay. me to priority target my drone also? You can priority target Ultron. Oh, because when we kill him... Well, the drone has to die first, though. The drone has to die first, regardless. Oh, and I have a, uh, I have a ground stomp, so we should be fine. If I can get a resize, I'm really feeling good i'm but... super angry right now by the way in case anyone <laughs> was like anybody in the audience is like keeping track like anger is like beyond control right now because of all time high how screwed i got on that um i mean i i guess i flipped down and get my visor back right yeah yeah i think you have to flip down and so you can you can attack at least so I'll thwart for two before I go down. 
just so we don't lose the main scheme because that would be the worst thing ever. And I, I, I will I will confuse them with Psylocke, so we should be fine. Yep. All right. So I'm gonna do. Three oh, you have to damage. exhaust for this though. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can. Do oh, I can. All right. Uh, do you have a way to plink three damage or no? With an event? Uh, no, not in altar. Oh. So should I just take out my thing? With my two? no, he he can still take damage. He can Wait, take the what? one damage. Right. Right. Well, still, but then we'll have one damage on the drone. Oh, that's right. Uh, we don't have Ultron drones. There are only one. So you have yeah, no way to flink one. even one damage? No, not... A, uh, not uh, Actually, I could... Yeah, I can do Tiagra. Oh, no, you can't. Kill here. That's not an action. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, action. you're right. You're right. <laughs> Games are hard. Um, uh, so do I thwart No, then? nothing in altar. Well, I'll thwart for three. Can you? I'll kill. I'll kill the drone with my other character. Boom. I'm gonna take a look. Drone. Each drone and all drone cannot take damage while droning is in play. Yeah. yeah there's no drones though. So all the drones are gone. Oh, I priority targeted, so I draw two cards. I don't know that that's great. Oh, oh priority target. Throw that on Ultron. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Yep. And then I will. Oh, I already flipped down. I can do that in, yeah. Um, and I could search for an upgrade, but I don't think I want to do that. So I'm just good. Oh, wait, how did I, why did I exhaust? Oh, I thwarted, because I'm an idiot. I was going to get my visor back. So I'll add two more to the main Yeah. And get my visor yeah. back. So that comes into my hand. But unfortunately, it's... Oh, no, it's not even X-Men, so I can't even think about playing it with team building. Never mind. All right, go ahead. Okay. Matthew says, Dylan. we plus one damage. That's what we do. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it would have been freaking awesome. Like, I had... Oh! There was oh, such a good yeah. turn there, and it turned to less good. Still not terrible, <laughs> but way less good for sure. Okay, let's flip to Tiny. So we will remove a threat and draw a card. I am just, I'm kind of banking on hoping that I'm drawing into a resize here. Um, we will bring it to draw a card to a genius. We will mansion to draw a card into a one by one. <laughs> That's um, not going well. Well, we you still have the one from our, Yeah, target, well, or Army of Ants. <laughs> deal two to Ultron. Yes. So Just priority target two. goes away. No, no deal. No deal. I do have a pin particle, so we still get to draw a card. Hold on, hold on. And he comes in with a so lot of So he advances health. to what? 27 per player. Ugh. 54. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so we Hold will. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the Ultron Imperative side scheme and reveal it. Oh, is that the one where I get two drones? Yes. Uh, I should not have played Bring It then. Hmm. Bummer. Yeah, because you're a first player, right? Yep. That's fine. Uh, we'll tiger one of these drones, which is a giant strength. And then we will pim particles a one by one. So we'll deal two. We get to draw a card into a resize. Let's go. And nice. we'll deal two to uh, Ultron. And we will. Is that two Army with the Ants boost for... one? No, that, that was without the boost. So, so one three. more. And then four for Army of Ants. Two and two. Yeah. Um, what do I want to do while I'm down here? I don't think I really care. Um, we will go ahead and Quinn Carrier to play a ready to rumble. And then we will. I don't oh, wrong. We will attack for two. Is that with a plus one? 
I was with the plus one, yeah. Okay. We will resize to change to giant to deal two damage. So it's three, right? Uh, No, just two total. Oh, uh oh. Sorry. We'll use ready to rumble to stand up. Seems good. Okay. It's at 41. We may have them. We may have them. Definitely should have played Giant Strength first because that's how you play the game. Um, we can say you did that. Where is it? It's in my hand. Um, gonna, yeah, okay. Then we'll just. Do oh, that. you have Giant Stomp too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. Because Giant Stomp's going to do the two damage first and then nine more. It only deals it to minions. Okay, so it's still going to do nine, yeah. by the way. It's still pretty good. Still pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and swing with Ant-Man for five, six, seven total with the plus one. We will go and do a attack with Thor for four. We'll attack with Psylocke. Oops. And confuse for four total. Yep, so two and two. Yep. What are we at? We're at 26. Um, what did Tiger do? Will... Did she attack? Did I miss that? Yeah, Tiger took out one of the drones that came oh, out with the imperative. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, we're going to spend two and a hand cannon, I guess, to play Giant Stomp to knock off the tough and deal nine to Ultron. Seems good. 17. Got three, six, nine. Matthew Rose says, you don't seem ready to rumble. I don't you know. don't seem ready. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, you could throw Sunfire in. To... She just gets rid of somebody. Who cares? Yeah, Sunfire's damage. Um, so we're going to go energy for Sunfire. Yep. So you have and to then, kill one, but who cares? Yeah, we'll, we'll kill off uh, Psylocke. Why? Just because she's confused twice? Oh, I forgot to put the confuse on, by the way. And we'll swing for three with Sunfire. Um, he's at 14. Eh. Two one by one. Uh, I think. So that's he. Oh, he doesn't put a drone in anymore. Whenever he attacks, so we there's no reason to really stun him. Yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll we'll um, we'll go strength. Actually, heck, I may. Uh, yeah, we'll go strength for a one by one to deal three. Then we'll go three more. Down to eight. eight. I mean, definitely would have been dead, obviously, if I didn't lose my ability to attack. <laughs> <laughs> Which just seems like a jobbing. Yeah, that was that was tough. It was like that the was worst really possible tough. card at the worst possible time. I mean, it doesn't should not matter, right? But I am yeah. at two health, by the way. Uh I I got blockers. I'm gonna get rid of tactical um, brilliance and my visor because Oh, and you're also an altar. Okay. Yes, I am. Well, yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm not Oh, yeah, yeah. But we know there are... Oh, I got Polaris. And a lot of Four Justices. And a Ricochet Beam. <laughs> uh, all right. So, two on main. Did we really never go through the deck? Or we messed that no, up? No, I think we did. I think we did. We did. I'm going to add, like, three more. Yeah, I'm sure fine. it wasn't that much, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, I never dealt with this either. Oh, well. That That's probably fine. I mean, I think everything's fine at this point. Uh... We'll just see what happens. Famous last words. I think everything's fine. I think everything's probably fine. Exploit weakness goes away or when? Uh, At the end of the round. Oh, so if we have retaliate or anything. Yeah. Or, uh, okay. So first things first, we added the threat and even more um, because we forgot to add the acceleration. All right. Uh, you get attacked for... Or let's add... We'll add I'll add two threat. Oh, yeah, or two threat this stage yeah, yeah. for darn sure 
<laughs> oh wait, I I I took I added it to the uh, villain tip points, not the threat. <laughs> okay. Nice. Uh, all right. So, yeah, you just get attacked for four, just the four. Um, you taking it? Just the four. Y- yeah. About to sure. Get why not? Three more. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Uh, if the nemesis minion is in play, you are confused. Otherwise, place the threat on the main scheme. Oh man, all that threat. All that threat <laughs> inside your bit. I don't know. Then we'll take three from Mr. Hyde. Yep. And then he's confused against me. And then take your two cards because I'm an idiot and forgot to get rid of that. <laughs> First up, we've got Swarm Attack. Each drone minion engaged with your hero attacks. If no attacks were made, put the top card of your deck into play face down as a drone minion. Uh, then we've got partnering time when defeated searching encounter deck and discard pal for your nemesis minion and reveal it we will just never kill him we do have to kill this before he can take any damage correct now and it is plus one surge reveal the top card of the encounter deck oh this that's my favorite card it really is yeah right (laughs) uh all right one revealed each player discards the top three cards of their deck and it gets six on it On my other resize and then oh <sighs> another this drone is awesome that's no and good. it puts a drone in play when he's yeah bigger. that's that's awful uh, okay and of course this uh, one, i don't have a bunch of attack and i don't even know if i exploit weakness in my deck anymore i'll search and see what i find three five Practice defense. Field commander. Practice defense. Yeah. So practice defense it is. You're first. Um, yeah, that's that's an action anyway, so it's it was it was all above the board. Do I <laughs> heal? Are we not gonna kill them? I think we will. Um I'm I'm calling on an action to bring it real quick. Yep. Um Okay, so I, we, yeah, we're, we are, this we're one probably is easy fine. to kill. It's this one. We got to do six damage there, basically. Oh, uh, we, yeah, we are, we're absolutely fine. Um, oh, I got Ricochet go... Beam. I got Ricochet. Okay. So I'll just, um, I'll flip, put practice defense on him. I will oh, attack. Yeah, you're good. I'll attack him for one. Then I will ricochet beam. One, two. So that does three damage to the drone. Three more to this dude, which puts a drone out. Because why wouldn't it? Call on me. Go for it. It's an action. Uh, Well, Quinn Carrier... We will uh, one by one, so we'll deal two and two. Take them down to six. Okay. Uh, then we will Polaris, because that's the best thing I can do. Ready myself and give myself tough. Unfortunately, I don't have an upgrade for him, so I can't shoot my beam at him. With Professor X, but I'm going to do three damage. Nice. And it is yours to do the last three. Well, basic attack for three. Nice. That was that was intense. No, that was a lot no, of no. Right you there. switched the mini form in your army ants for three. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I <laughs> removed a threat. Uh, <laughs> yes. I switched to mini form. I'm going to do two army of ants, and I'm going to switch to mini form. Right. And I'm going to swing with the hand cannon to kill him. Oh, nice. Nice. You overkill him on to hide? <laughs> is, that, is that what we're doing here? Yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. That was crazy. That was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah. Well, Ooh. I mean, we don't do it easy, but we have been going for three <laughs> hours now. Uh, nice. So yeah. I won't take up much more of your night, but we have switched to our post-stream discussion. Um, whatever you call it. Uh yeah like screen or whatever um Mm -hmm. but let's talk about all right so first of all you don't play a lot of tabletop simulator uh 
now. I don't I, play a lot of tabletop sh- simulator or stream. I don't yeah. stream a lot of tabletop simulator. So, I play tabletop simulator because like my my best buddies live in Colorado and uh, Alabama, so or Georgia. And, and that I mean, the only reason I stream is because I play with Terrence, who lives in Texas. So mm, yeah. there's not. I mean, look, people do it all the time. They stream without it. But I, I guess I should put my number one disclaimer out there, which is support Fantasy Flight. I own every mm. single thing that this game has put out. So does Terrence. The, and I mean, I paid for 99% of it. Like we did get a couple things free, but like for the most part, like support the publisher here. Yes, Tabletop Simulator is great when you don't have people close to each other, but you know, buy the cards. Don't don't be that person that like doesn't buy stuff, doesn't support the publisher because the game will die if that happens, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Fantasy Flight already. It's been a year since the last big box release, so it's clearly not as much of a priority as it was when it first came out. So we don't want to give them any more reason not to support the game. Um, so with all that being said, I love playing on tabletop simulator. It lets me play with people like you across the country. It lets me play, play with people like Terrence. I know you own every card. I know he owns every card. I know I own every <laughs> card. So it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we did our part to support the publisher. Like at this point, like it is a great tool. Um, at least in my mind to be able to play with people that I wouldn't normally be able to play with. Yeah. No, I, I think it's great. It's, it's, I mean, like this would be near impossible, if not impossible to do without this tool. And so with that, it's, it's good, but yeah, I mean, we do want to support the, the designers, the publishers, everyone in, in buying the game. Which, yeah. Caleb's a cool dude. Yeah. Caleb's awesome. All right. So let's talk about you a little bit before we get out of here. So again, sure. uh, so we got Nelson all over, we got Nelson all over cards. Uh, are your two now all over cards is your Twitch. So Nelson all over is my Twitch. Okay. Um, so I do stream board games over there as well. Okay. And, but all the, all the board game streams go to all over, all over cards gets all the card stuff. And I define card game as a, I bring a pre-constructed deck to the table. And so like when I was doing star Wars, the deck building game, that was in my mind, a board game. That makes because, sense. I mean, that's yeah. So Terrence and I are starting to call ourselves the cooperative card gamers. Um, nice. it, it, there's not a tag anywhere. I just thought it was funny that it's CCG. Um, like we literally don't put that on anything. Um, I yeah. actually think it's at the beginning of the podcast, uh, at, nice. like the intro or whatever. Um, but we're, it's the same thing. Terrence wants to play constructed deck games. He wants to play the LCGs mostly. But we've also talked about things like Sky Terror Horde. We talked about things mm-hmm. like Ashes Reborn. Um, so those are, you know, a couple of the other things we put in the category. But you're right. Everything's pre-constructed. I tried to stretch it a little bit by saying, hey, how about like <laughs> Legendary Encounters? Which is like, you don't have a deck coming in, but it's a deck building game. So, um, yeah. so we'll see. I, I just wanted to stretch the definition a little bit. But yeah, so we're starting to do some of the same stuff. But again, just like with you, it's part of what we do. But I think the thing that's more interesting to our audience is you said you stream a lot of solo co-op games, Mm -hmm. um, which is exactly what we do too. So, I mean, obviously as One Stop Co-op Shop, that's our main focus. So you're playing mostly solo and co-op over there? Uh, yeah, mostly solo and co-op. Sometimes I'll get a competitive game in. I'm not locking myself out. It's just, again, a lot harder to logistically set that up. Right. But a lot of solo. Um, I stream three to four times a week, and they're typically the big three LCGs from Marvel. Or gotcha. from, uh, from FFG. I mean, let's be honest. Marvel owns it all. Disney owns it all yeah. anyway. So let's... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, uh... yep. So, do you have a favorite non-LCG game solo? My favorite? Yeah. Oh, solo. Uh, ooh. Yeah, so I so I think that would still be my favorite game of all time and that's Spirit Island. So that that okay. is my yeah, yeah. that's my go-to game. I I love that. My wife and I have played well over 50 times. Um Were you the ones that did Spirit Island at Kind of Heroes? No, no, we weren't. Did you see that we group? Weren't. I did. I did. They were in the hotel yeah. playing. They played like all day Sunday. Like they were all over 
Spirit yeah. Island. I mean, it's a great game, obviously. Like, it's a it's an awesome game. It's probably it's... collectively our number one game at One Stop Co-op Shop. There are six of us that like yeah. kind of vote on these things. It's probably still, I would bet, uh, that that would be our number one um, co-op game. It it's so good. It's so it and it just provides such satisfying gameplay and combos and like scalable difficulty it, it literally has pretty much everything that i want and so i i have so much fun with that but i have played it solo i actually streamed it um a while ago and that that was a lot of fun but that that's that's my number one game as well as my number one solo non-lcg game <laughs> gotcha now of the big three because we have this debate quite a bit marvel yeah. champions lord of the rings and arkham horror What's your favorite of those three? Lord of the Rings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. People I like Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings who like yeah. love it. And so what it what it was is that Marvel was my favorite. It's actually the one that I got into the LCG sphere with. And so I started with Marvel. I actually That's I guess technically I played I played Arkham a couple years ago, just and kind of forgot about it. But like I started and I dove into the hobby with Marvel. And I like kind of realized that I, I enjoyed these games and I was like talking with a couple of friends and I'm like, okay, let's, let's try Lord of the Rings. And so I bought Lord of the Rings when um, like they had not announced the repackage. So I went, I was scouring all everywhere around like the, the weirdest parts of the internet, eBay is just like random sites <laughs> shipping them from overseas to get all of these packs so that I could like, I was like, if I don't buy them now, I'm never going to get them. And then I finally completed my collection for way more than literally it, bought I everything. should have spent. Literally bought everything. And then it was like a, six weeks later, they announced the repackaged stuff. <laughs> I was ah. like, no. <laughs> um, but really, that game, it, it, it crossed over my as my favorite LCG probably around like cycle three in Heirs of Numenor, which is where Caleb took over. Um I'm not sure if that is a coincidence or not, but I the the satisfaction of deck building in that game is just I think leaps and bounds over Marvel because you're sure. picking three heroes and you just you get so much more things that you can do, and I I'm also just a sucker for the theme. I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan. Um, yeah, I guess I'm you have to say that in kids. context. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like literally, we were watching it this afternoon. Um, now we're on the last movie and the extended editions, which means it's four yeah. and a half hours. Um, yeah. so we, we've, we've continually paused like after an hour or two of watching, like they're like, okay, uh, <laughs> time to go play on the screen for a little bit. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, I like the theme too. My, my history with Lord of the Rings is very different. I actually bought it okay. when it first came out. Nice. Um, and I made it through the first cycle probably with purchasing, but I think I only ever played the core box. Okay. Honestly. Uh, then I sold it. Like, it just wasn't for me. I'm like, it was confusing to me, honestly. Like, what do you mean I can't it's... block an attack with the same hero? Like, now it's uh, obviously with Marvel Champions. It's it's very different. Um, you know, you, you, you kind of get that in your brain. Um, but when it first came out, I was like, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Um, so got out of it. Then a few years later, I got back in again and started buying this stuff again. And then I realized, again, it was the core box, right? I think that core box does that game such a disservice. Because I, again, yes. was playing those first three missions. And I was like, yeah. this is stupid. And I got out again. Yeah. And then Mike, who, again, my partner in crime for a lot of the stuff we do, ended up getting some stuff bought for him by a couple of the other people in our, like, one-stop co-op shop family. Okay, yeah. He made these ridiculous dwarf decks that, like, yes. all got plus yes. one to everything, like, all their stats. Oh, yeah. And, like, we played the first mission of The <laughs> Hobbit because they're like, oh, you got to play the saga stuff. So we played the first mm -hmm. mission of The Hobbit, just destroyed it. Like, it was, like... And I'm like, this is stupid. This isn't fun at all. And I got out of it again. Like, literally. So, now I'm trying to get back in slowly. Um, okay. With just the revised stuff. I'm not going to go back and yeah. try to own everything. Um, yeah. So, this Thursday, we're actually going to stream 
the first part of that one cycle, I think you said, like the first one that came out for the revised set. Um, okay. Yeah. So what's the name of it? It's uh, Angmar Awakened. That's... Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're going to start with Intruders of Chetwood. So, okay. yeah, we're playing that Thursday. Now we're going to try to use dragon cards. Okay. I yeah. mean, I like tabletop I things simulator. About it. It's, yeah. it's not the same. Um, there's definitely things you have to learn. There's a learning curve there. But, um, I mean, again, we own the cards. So I don't mind yeah. playing online with one of these resources or tools if you buy the stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. This is my fourth foray into <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Um, fourth time is the charm. Maybe. But I've never made it past the corset, and that's what I promised myself this time. I'm going to play past that corset, because if I stopped at Marvel Champions corset, I'd probably feel the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, And I did. When I first played it, I was like, this game's fine, but it reminds me a lot of Lord of the Rings. That was my original yeah. impression when I played Marvel Champions. Um, mm -hmm. And now it's... I do like, think that they have learned a lot yeah. from Lord of the Rings, especially like what that corset looks like. And... Like I think Arkham and Marvel have a much better core set because that 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 core set for Lord of the Rings can be demoralizing. Yeah, I mean not only can be but is. I I tried that third oh, edition yeah. again yeah, yeah. recently with a deck that I thought was pretty good, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty easy. This is a lot easier than I thought it was. Made it through the first two things and then I had to fight the boss at the end. And you have to do like it's got like five armor, <laughs> and like. Yep. Yep. Like eight life yep. or something, and I'm like, yeah, there's zero percent chance I can do that much damage, <laughs> like because right. I just it was a very good, you know, questing deck, but it did not have any damage, and I'm like, well, get some done. <laughs> like, <laughs> did you always play it cooperatively or did you try it solo? Mostly solo, which is probably worse, right? <laughs> yeah, especially in that and core so, set. Yeah, because they they have said that they did not realize how many players were going to want to try it solo or play it solo and they just did not necessarily have that in mind during that initial design so it gets a lot more solo friendly throughout the like life cycle of the game and so i'm kind of getting into that spot i'm playing through it like progression style so as it was coming out um and using only the cards available at that time and like i've noticed a shift of i think they kind of realized like oh people are playing this game by themselves like solo like, let's not make this as impossible solo. And yeah. so, and I, I think... refuse to go easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and here's yeah. the thing I will play standard in Marvel Champions way before I would play easy in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and here's yeah. my theory like, literally, so I don't know if you know our backstory, but the bottom line is Mike and I are designers of games and we mostly made cooperative games. And so we decided to start the channel. Because we wanted to do research on cooperative oh, cool. games. Yeah. So that's yeah. how it started. Like with not this channel. We started with a podcast actually. And we're like, we're gonna play every cooperative game that comes out. We're gonna break it down and have a design discussion about like lessons we've learned from that game. So that's the whole yeah. premises of how we started into this whole thing. And um where was I going? What was a <laughs> sorry, I lost my train of thought. Where did where did I start this from? Uh, we were talking about Lord of the Rings, and you said I don't know if you know our backstory. Okay, um, so I had a place I was going to go designing. with it to Lord <laughs> of the Rings. There was a connection there. Um, yeah, I totally lost where I was going with the connection. <laughs> like I totally had a connection. I was going to bring it all together. It was cats and dogs <laughs> living together. It would have been beautiful. Um, except I have no idea what I, where I was going with that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah. So we do a lot of, like, design and critical design and thinking about, yeah, um, you know, why things are the way they are. And, yeah, so, yeah, I, I literally, you said something that triggered me and I can't. Ter Terrence in the chats reminded us that you don't play easy. That was it. That was it. Yes. Okay. So, so I did have a point for this. All right. So our discussion was 
if it's naming conventions matter. Yeah. When you say normal mode is this and you say, but if you're a wimp, you can play easy. <laughs> it's very different than this is standard and expert, you know, cause we play expert a lot yeah. here, but I don't mind yeah. playing standard. But when you call something normal and then you tell me something's easy, <laughs> it, yeah. it's a weird thing, right? It's a psychological thing. But this was a whole discussion we had about naming conventions and how they do matter. Because people oh, yeah. don't want to play normal and then go, this is too hard for me. I'm going to back down to easy. People mm-hmm. have, no, at least the people I've played with, have no problem starting on standard and going, oh, this is too easy. I'm glad there's an expert mode. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now I feel yeah. better about myself. So, yes. Thank you, Terrence, for triggering that reminder of, like, where this was coming from. Um, yeah. And uh, Terrence also said, Lord of the Rings is about hope or lack thereof thematically. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. That game is definitely a lot about lack of hope. Um, yeah. So. But I am looking forward to, like, I want to like the game. Honestly, I like fantasy themes better than superhero themes so Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. i've always wanted to like the game obviously i wouldn't have tried to get into it as many times as i had um but i'll be honest playing that and then coming back to this again still basically core set i did play those two like missions that came out with the two-player starter box or yeah collector edition or whatever it is so i did play those two missions um but I haven't played much past the core box beside that stuff. So I am looking yeah. forward to exploring and seeing what what else is out there. Yeah, I hope I hope I hope you enjoy it because it feels like a game that like it was they learned a lot from Lord of the Rings and you can see what they learned in Champions and Arkham. And as, you know, just the design cycle progresses and I'm not even at Agmar yet um in my progression and i'm like i think i'm on the fourth cycle and so just like they have learned so much and then they're repackaging the ones that are you know the community favorites and so i think what's funny i've heard really good things they skip four cycles obviously (laughs) right like if angmar is past the fourth cycle yeah like they literally just skip they're like all right we were figuring it out at this point you know (laughs) yeah yeah, and then they took a lot of the player cards that you got in those cycles and forged the starter decks out of those. And I have played with the starter decks. Because I'm a precon okay. guy, ironically. Um, yeah. I, I don't mind exploring past the precons, but when I'm learning something, I want to play with, like, like this, this is good for you when you're learning the game decks. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to try to figure out the 57 bazillion. Although, I don't know they did a great job with the starter decks. Like, two of them, the okay. dwarves and Gondor, seem really good. But um, the other two, Rohan and the elves, at least as they are out of the box, don't seem great without a little bit of deck construction. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's interesting because I have not touched the precons just because I'm trying to stay as spoiler averse or oh just stay away from spoilers as much as i can because after i after i beat a a pack i get to open the next pack and i do that on stream and i have a lot of fun with that because i get yeah. to see all these new cards and so i've kind of stayed away from the precon so i can't really speak to those as much um but well, did you buy those Karen, since you already owned everything no i didn't i didn't because yeah. the 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 precons don't come with any new cards right so um Terrence asked, how did I like into Athelion? I'm looking it up right now because I I, I I have a I have a hard time. Oh yeah, no, this was um the second <laughs> this was the second uh um scenario in like the Heirs of Numenor box. And the Heirs of Numenor box that um that cycles where they very, very much ramped up the difficulty. And it it it's a it's a different beast. That was fun. It was fun. It, I I enjoy the hard quest. I really second quest of errors. Yeah, I really like the challenge of trying to figure out a deck that will beat a specific quest. And I think that's the biggest difference that we see in Marvel and Lord of the Rings. Is Marvel, yeah. I build a deck and then I take it up against a villain. Where 
in Lord of the Rings, I look at the encounter deck and then I have to specifically build a deck that can take on that encounter. And I enjoy that puzzle a lot. Yeah. And Terrence does too. And that's why he, uh, he likes deck construction. And when we started playing, he'd like craft decks to play against the scenarios we're doing. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. What are you doing? Like just (laughs) bring a deck, you know? Like, so for me, it's exactly the opposite. That's one thing I'm not as thrilled about in Lord of the Rings. Although, to be honest, we've done some deck construction because we do stupid challenges here. Like we've done nice. um, Collector with Black Widow and oh, why somebody else that was... <laughs> I actually like Collector, believe it or oh. not. Like, because it makes you play so differently. Okay. But not only Collector, but Collector with Widow... And I forget who the other one was. And like an ally heavy deck or something. Like we did something really stupid. Like, you That's know, just, crazy. just to try to beat it. Um, yeah. With the, so we almost did the opposite. We anti-deck tech. Although, of course, yeah. <laughs> when I did Widow, I did not do very, um, whatchamacallit, heavy deck. Um, or, you know, those things that go in play and they'd have to come out of play to preparation preparation yeah i did not do a heavy preparation deck obviously um so uh so lord of the rings is your favorite and then marvel Mm -hmm. champions i guess yeah and then marvel champions and then arkham i i i do really enjoy arkham it's just i like the other two just so much more yeah um i i think my favorite part about uh, these games is the deck construction part. So I think I'm kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum as you are. Yeah. And so Arkham where I play the same deck and I change a couple cards, like takes away a lot of what, what? I find the most enjoyable. Yeah. That being said, I love Arkham. I think that they did an incredible job with it. It's, it's, it's really fun. Um, but yeah. My favorite cycle for Arkham. And I've only played like three, the first three is that one where you had the insanity cards in your hand. I forget which one that was. Um, it was one of the early ones where you couldn't Probably tell not... people why was you were it... doing things. Oh, yeah. Is that Carcosa? Yes, Carcosa. Yeah. That was yeah, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've only, again, played like the first three or four. So. Nice. Yeah, I have I have played the Dunwich. I have played half of Carcosa because I didn't understand the rules. When I died, I thought I lost the campaign. Turns out that's not actually true. And then right. I started. I've played. I've been playing the newer stuff. So I played Edge of the Earth. I played Scarlet Keys, um, and then I think I'm going to go back to Carcosa next. That's kind of the. That's kind of the plan because I was really enjoying Carcosa. Carcosa is my favorite. It, Again, yeah, I haven't it, played all of so them, fun. but it has some cool like mechanics that yeah. none of the other ones did that I've played so far. But I like games like Keyforge, things like that. I, Terrence and I have had this discussion many times. I don't remember how many are on air versus off, but um, <laughs> like I like games where I have to deal with my deck, which is part of the reason I don't mind not play testing ahead of time and like going, okay, that mm-hmm. was terrible. Like I <laughs> like the tactical play for me is so much more important. That's why I like yeah. when I get a new deck, I just take the pre-con. I try not to even look at it. I shuffle it up. And I just play it and try to figure it out, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's the way my videos used to be until I got the spider. Um, and I screwed up that video so bad because I got so many rules wrong that I was like, oh, all right, no. maybe I should do an unboxing first. Like, get the excitement of, like, and then make sure I understand what's going on before I just, like, throw a video up where I literally have never looked at the cards before. <laughs> Yeah, and she's a tough one to go in blind because there's a lot going on with her. Well, the big thing I screwed up, I mean, it's so obvious now. It said um, you can exhaust a tech card to use the printed resource, mm-hmm. but I did it for the cost of the card. So if it was like a three co- that three-cost card, I'd exhaust oh. it to get three resources. I was like, she is ridiculous. She is very, very strong. <laughs> I mean, she's still very, very strong, by the way. She's probably... yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think she's strange level strong, but um, I mean, because you can get her up to speed. People are like, oh, she's too slow. No, nah, she's up to speed in three turns. Like, I mean, without much luck at all. Like, yeah. Um, I mean, because she has four of those cards that like pull upgrades out of her deck. 
plus the upgrades right. themselves. So she's not Iron Man slow as far as getting up to speed, even with a small hand size. And then you get Ant Man and Uncle Ben, and they just let you cycle your deck even faster yep. to get to yep. those upgrades faster. And of course, if you get one, then you get to take it right to your hand. So, yeah, yeah. No, she's she's a ton of fun. Yeah. Terrence says hopefully the challenge card from Kind of Heroes can give some of that puzzle solving itch. Yeah, I I definitely want to try some of those. Um I haven't Terrence done that. Terrence designed those by the way. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked through them. They look awesome. I I haven't tried them. I don't get to play as much non-streaming as I I would like to, but I do want to try and set up a stream where I do a couple of those challenge cards cuz they they are crazy and fun so i hope well they just changed the way the game is played because i looked at a lot yeah. of them before and we've played a couple of them on the stream as well um even before kind of heroes we played a couple of those on the stream because they'd already released them to the public um yeah no i mean they're definitely they changed up how you have to go into the game and how you have to think about it and i think yeah. because it was designed by terrence who likes <laughs> that i've got to build a deck to beat this challenge yeah. like the big one everybody talks about is um senator kelly one the first one where you have to win the game without ever rescuing senator kelly yep yep so like literally <laughs> you got like four turns so you either go straight burn or you find cards because there are cards that'll heal senator kelly so you can justice to pull those cards out because there are side schemes and put them in yeah, play to yeah, heal yeah. him um, to oh, give yourself fun. a little bit more time. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's really fun. We just did a, I, we do monthly challenges and the monthly challenge for this month is see how much damage you can do to saber tooth. Um, he starts with a hundred. It's just stage two of saber tooth. He starts with a hundred health and you get, like xp based on the amount of damage that you do but every at the end of the round he loses 10 health per player he starts with 100 health uh per player and so it's kind of like a, a it's an interesting tempo to try and build up enough to do the the quick burst damage but also like if you wait too long he only has 30 damage and now you the max you can do is 30 and so like people have found cards that will heal saber tooth <laughs> like heal the villain so that nice. he stays alive <laughs> it's like wait no so you can do more damage yeah 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 so I, you yeah, said we fun. who where, where is that is that like solo league or whatever no so we we have a discord i when i say we it's um a couple of content creators it started with d20 woodworking and i when we started we started streaming right about the same time and we did like weekly streams together but we started a discord that is all of the LCGs just kind of in one. Got it. And we do Marvel Champions monthly challenges in there. Oh, okay. Cool. So what's yeah. the name of your Discord? So, because, I mean, our community is a strong Discord presence as well. Oh, cool. Um, It's just called Living Card Games. All right. So there you um, go. Check out the Living Card Games uh, Discord channel. And uh, check out Nelson All Over and Nelson All Over Cards, of course, if you are a Marvel Champions fan. And... Uh, it was great playing with you, man. Way better than awesome Terrence. With you. Now that I know that he's in the chat, like <laughs> we uh, we can easily you know permanently replace Terrence, and maybe we'll have you on <laughs> like as we play more Lord of the Rings. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get you as like a special guest to come in and uh, join us for I'd some of those. I would love that. Yeah, this was app. This was a ton of fun. I I had so much fun. Thank you for letting me come on to the stream and. I'm glad we got to crush Ultron together. I mean, let's be honest, we lost one and won one. So there is that. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, but we but we won one. <laughs> yes, yes. We ended on a win. We got the last word. Yes. Who cares if Mr. Hyde's still on the table? <laughs> I mean, my justice deck of non justicing that first game was yeah, that was no bueno. But now you know what Terrence deals with every week. He perfectly crafts the deck to beat the scenario and does all these great things. And then I show up with like a Star Lord deck. That like you know draws fifty seven encounter cards. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, you think Star Lord was fun? Hold on, I got a Venom suit for him. Like, you know, what could symbiote go wrong? suit. Yeah. <laughs> no, what could go wrong? Nice. Exactly that. You know, that's what that's what yeah. he does. Oh my goodness, that's so. hilarious. 
Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, I am definitely the chaos to our uh, to our ragtag duo. Um, yeah. So he is making decks for me for Lord of the Rings. Although I don't know if he doesn't cool. have one for me by Thursday, I'm just playing a precon. I don't care. I'll play the yeah. Gondor <laughs> one. It's pretty freaking strong. Um, yeah. Yeah. The Gondor precon, and we're only playing the first mission of the cycle. So okay. I mean, precon should be fine. Like I said, we're playing intruders of chetwood um so it should be fine nice nice yeah that's the the cycle that i'm in um the next cycle is uh agmar awakens and so i'm i'm about to be playing content that other people are playing and it's gonna be really exciting because i'm in like this (laughs) realm of playing all these like very few people you know have the, the content that i'm playing and so i'm excited to actually be able to talk about it with some people nice nice by the way terrence says sounds like a peter justice deck i feel like i heard that <laughs> comment earlier today as well yep yep <laughs> it's like oh yeah a justice deck that doesn't do any well to be fair terrence you started me on this path of like rebuilding my deck you're like oh you should put meditation in and i never put meditation in which you also said nelson by the way yep <laughs> uh, i never ended up putting meditation in but i I was like, oh, this card's not that great for this deck, and this not, card's not that great. And I realized I took out all my thwarting cards um, <laughs> and and Oops. added a bunch of garbage that did not do what it needed to do. So there was that. Uh, but to no. be fair, it was Ultron, so I do feel like I just lost every card that I actually needed to thwart yes. well. Yeah, um, exactly, yes. It was just one of those games, because uh, War Machine does not innately thwart well at all. I think his thwarting is one and like most of his signature event cards are attack cards. So, yep. And he wants to flip and he wants to flip. Well, but I brought in stuff like, um, you know, we're, uh, the one that it's a preparation where you prevent three from going on. Right. So, and I brought many things to confuse. They just, yeah, it just didn't work out. That's yeah. That's the bottom line. (laughs) So anyway, all right, Nelson. Yeah. Well, thanks for all your time tonight. Totally appreciate it. It was yeah. super fun playing with you. Um, Terrence, you're gone. And uh, Nelson's my new co-host every Friday night. So come <laughs> join Nelson and I on Fridays uh, as we stream Marvel Champions Live. <laughs> Terrence um, and I will play Lord of the Rings on Thursdays then. There you go. There you go. Uh, but uh, just a reminder, we are playing Lord of the Rings this Thursday. Not Nelson, but Terrence and I. Uh, and no stream this Friday. So um, I am away in Pennsylvania uh, doing uh, doing hockey tournament stuff. So awesome. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. <laughs>